So let's go ahead and get started. I got a little sidetracked, actually, because I was booting up the game. And I saw yet another game finally was ready out of early access. So we'll be playing that, I think, after we're done with this one, maybe. 13 years for Secrets of Grandia. We'll see. I'm curious how it ends, even if it's somewhat morbid, given the last couple of playthroughs. But anyway, enough about that game. Let's dive into Dungeon Drafters. So I believe I had a deck set up. I just need to review it once, and then I think I'll remember which specific quest I was gearing for. I also noticed that I didn't unlock the achievement for doing all of the quests, so it's possible that the uh, Warden has more for us to do. So we'll, we'll check him out, I think, first. I am curious. I don't recall seeing a quest icon above him, but it's possible it was there. Because I definitely went immediately after I was done, where I'm like, oh, I'm curious how many people beat it. And I'm like, oh, I didn't beat it. I'm assuming it's not a bugged achievement. I'm assuming I just didn't talk to him or something. Yeah, there we go. All right, hello. This is your final challenge. This one will be a little hard, but since it's such a good user of our archetype, you'll be fine. Firstly, I want you to remove 10 negative effects at once from yourself. Okay. Secondly, I want you to kill the Guardian of the Lost Wreckage without taking damage. No other archetypes allowed. Guardian of the Lost Wreckage. Okay. That's not... Terrible. That's not... That's not terrible. I, I could probably do that one. It's going to be kind of annoying that I have to get all the way down there just to try the boss. But as long as I bring a couple of immunity cards, the safe factors... Honestly, a couple of my attempts were basically no damage. I think maybe I get hit once and that was just for greed. It wasn't like it was required or I was stuck. He says the Guardian's already killed, no take backs. Yeah, I destroyed him like five times. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, it actually, wait, did it count it? Wait, it counted it? Are you serious? Oh, that is too funny. Oh, no, 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 it, it failed me. Never mind. I was going to say, it showed the little X there. Oh, that's disappointing. I think I did take damage on the last attempt that I did. I guess maybe I never technically went completely damage. I didn't do it with Warden. I guess it's a more accurate statement. So discard 10 or more negative effect cards at once. So that would have to be... That would have to be like me going into the Lost Wreckage and maybe hitting the Mushroom repeatedly. Because Sleep will get rid of it, so it can't be Sleep. But it could be something that stops me from healing. So Ghost or Mushroom, I think, could make me probably get that high. Uh, I kind of wanted to... I kind of wanted to finish up the Raider first, I believe. Which is kind of funny that I might actually complete the Raider before the other characters, given my uh, feeling towards them. Okay. So let's monitor, let's take a look at her deck so I can remind myself. So I had to defeat them in two turns, so that means I wanted the extra AP from the ring. And I think I have an okay amount of damage cards. The question is, do I want to shuffle my cards at all? Based off of what we have here. Might be good enough. Limit Breaker will be insane against this boss. If I draw it twice, that would be really huge. Ideally, I'm going to copy that card with uh, my other abilities. I don't know if I wanted anything else. Eye of the Storm was really powerful. I might actually just put another one in there, to be honest with you. Uh, is there anything else that I feel is worth adding to the deck? Phaser would be interesting, because I don't have a lot of projectiles. 
So I might just get a few projectile cards just so I have some ranged options. Shieldbreaker is okay. I'll bring literally one Shieldbreaker with me and that's it. We'll run this, see how it goes. That he's still doing his little trinket stuff. Uh, what did I feel about the rest of my deck? Oh, is this to draw extra cards at the beginning of the combat? You know what? I think that's probably fine. So I'm gonna have trouble with it. I needed to go to Lost Wreckage or Glacial. I think it's a Glacial, right? I just want to make sure I'm not hallucinating because I looked at both. Uh, Glacial. Okay, I mean, it's probably doable. I'm hoping the boss hasn't gotten any more annoying gimmicks since I last did it. The first time I was there, I literally two-turned the boss. Which is kind of unfortunate that that didn't count, because I'm pretty sure I definitely did this already. Welcome to Parameter. That is a hand. Hopefully you're doing well. Hmm, I want to hold Limit Breaker for later. Ivastorm Storm is pretty good for moving them towards me. will do what I need it to do, which is a problem. This will move me closer, but I don't think it's going to do... Well, I guess I could use it now. It doesn't really hurt. If I Fury Swipe this, this will give me what I want, I think. Oh, out of range. Man, Raider just, just finds new ways to disappoint me. Even if he moves again, that's not going to hit me. Yeah, this is fine. So I could end the fight instantly with Echo Slam. I'd prefer not to. I'm going to pull them with Eye of the Storm, and then I'm going to kill them with Fury Swipe. Which I think is actually a pretty good strat. So that'll let me cycle more cards, because I'm looking for a very specific card. Well, I drew the card that I was looking for. So these cards are going to be used for my get out of jail or my instant damage. Okay, so I have mobility on demand now. It's not bad. Do you even have multiple health bars? Okay, you do. Do I care about using mobility? I feel like the answer is no. I don't really care if he lures me. We're gonna put him pretty much in kill range. I could get rid of this, which I will. And smite him. Yeah, let's just smite him. So I have a way to hurt myself and do more damage simultaneously. Build these because I can. Reveal the way. I don't know if I care yet. See, the ice is working today. Hmm. I don't think there's a way for me to slide into that pit, sadly. That would have been ideal. Wait, doesn't this downpour just destroy them? Oh, it's in an area. Never mind.
Alright, that's the one that explodes when it dies. Ooh, but he's a flying unit, so that doesn't work. Um... I think I'm gonna have to limit break this. So limit break being useful here. And I protected him, so we get more cards. I can reset my cards. I don't want to yet, though. Ooh. I don't think I really want to deal with that. The question is, do I want to go to another room and then reset my hand? I think I do. Well, I was okay with one extra out of me. Two's a little bean. So I could kill that guy instantly if I want to. The other guy's not flying, so I don't have a big benefit against this. Could move in close. War damage is a lot of damage. Let's do this to get close figure out what to do from here. Worst thing that happens is I get damaged. I wish I could pull the other guy in. So this will do two damage potentially if I want it to. This will kill this guy instantly if I need it to. Hmm. I don't think this is going to do what I need it to do. If I can wound him, I don't think... I don't think that's going to do what I need it to do either. I think I got to go for this. Question is, how much damage is he going to do? Just two? I don't think I care about that then. And I could just kill him outright here, but then it'll put me in kill range of the other guy. I just wish I had, like, one more move. I guess in a way he can't reach me, right? Because he would slide on the ice. So you'd have to go, like, upright down or downright up to hit me. Maybe being here is the safest position. I just end my turn. I'm gonna save Tornado for later. Um, let's cycle out the Downpour. I think that's probably our worst card. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to reach me if this is Ice. Or he doesn't need to move to Slash. Oh, that sucks. A little unfortunate, to be honest with you. If I could just do, like, one more damage to him. You're gonna hit me, right? Yeah, because you're gonna teleport and do a lot of damage to me, so I can't use my no quarter yet. Ah, uh, but I need to chip him somehow. I didn't want to use this, but I think I have to. And this will kill him. I don't care if he poisons me here, this doesn't matter. Now I can one-shot him. Hmm. Is it greedy to go for another one? I don't think it is. I need more card draw. I need to draw one of the other cards. That's not a bad hand, to be honest with you. Ooh. I didn't realize how that actually pokes farther than some of my other close range attacks. It's somewhat relevant. Um, sadly though. It 
So there's only ice floor on a couple of these tiles, but I don't think I could slide into the, the pit here, sadly. So I could just take three damage and win the fight instantly. I don't think I want to use my teleport card if I can avoid it. Uh, Echo Slam is extremely good. Desperate Burst is okay. How much will you do normally? Just one, potentially? I think I just end my turn and let them get closer. Because I could potentially kill that guy on retreat if I really need to, and then the other guy will be closer in range. I think is the right play. If I go here, for example, they're all just kind of ultra dead. So I could use a projectile to kill him. Doing that would be insta-death. Let's not do that. Um, I guess I'll go over here to escape the one guy, and if the other guy hits me, it doesn't matter. So we should just die. So we're at 2 HP. I drew a little better. I think now I reset my hand. Because we did use up a lot of good cards. We'll go deeper. I don't want to interact with that at all. Do I heal? I think I do, but I think I don't heal on the final floor. Could take this room to try to get items. I guess I could see what it is. Uh, not the best. So all of them are going to try to melee him. I could Echo Stomp him, but I think it also hurts the other guy, which is a problem. Um, just thinking. I think this will work the way I want it to. Yeah, it did. And that's why I like the eruption shot there. So I just protected him from one damage. So I have to kill both of them this turn if I want the item. But no matter what, I got a card. Well, he moved out of the way. That is really interesting of a position for him. So I'm going to go one, two, snipe. Now the problem is out of the way. So as long as the guy moves away, yeah, this should be fine then. Oh, interesting. Whoa! Sunstrike has a full room radius? Ooh, wait a minute, chat. Is this a game changer for Raider? Their big problem is that they just can't... They can't hit things on the other side of the room. Wow, and it potentially can poly kill. So I could purposely make it target multiple objects, for example. And that lets me cast it again. So this is potentially like an 8-9 damage spell on a single target. Easy. I might save Sunstrike then, to kill the other thing. Why is it showing me his health? Is he gonna die from the magma somehow? Oh, surrounding enemies are hit by one. Oh. It's like, why is he gonna die from that? Hmm... So I think I can solve this with what we have. Now I can Sunstrike if I want to. Does that target me? It does. Not that it matters. I mean, it matters for the future. Okay, I did that to get my items back. Cycle our cards. So I could burst my health if I need to. All we need to do is, by the end, reduce our health low. So... So this is fine. Let's go down another floor. Because I can even suffer my own health if I need to. 
because ideally it, it's going to be doing eight damage no matter what so it actually doesn't matter what my health total is coming into the boss funny enough although if i fell down that hole that'd be really funny i don't think it'll let me though sadly yeah the ice doesn't reach it so we'll go in with our questionable health total i don't care what this challenge is don't care hmm this room's okay I think I just want both of them to come to me, but is there a card I can burn in the meantime? That's not useful. Eruption would basically one-shot one of them. I think I just hold my turn. Hmm, do I take the damage is the question. I mean, this guy just stupidly walked up to me. Why even use a card? Okay. Well, that was easy. Blue Avenger attained. I think that was embarrassing for the enemy. I think we can all agree. Didn't even use the card. As Raider, I didn't use the card. That's just embarrassing. Uh, what do you do? Oh, you're the summoner. Mm. I don't do enough damage. Uh, wish I had another jetpack. So I could kill one of them instantly, and I think I'll do that. Yeah, this 4 damage instant target I think also fixes a big problem the build had where I didn't have a good way of potentially AoEing stuff that was near me. So definitely feeling a lot happier with the new cards. It's a shame it took literally top tier for the deck to feel okay. Versus like overpowered. This does 4 to all flying units, so I just have to get into range. So I think I'm going to use this to get by them. So there's an example of a card we didn't have initially. And then GG. So I think that... And that's why I put Tornado in the deck. Specifically, I don't want to deal with the Sorcerers. And a lot of our problem enemies here are Flyers. So Raider actually has an okay amount of options to deal with these things. Ugh. Oh. That is unfortunate. Wait, did I just get a kill card? So that just insta-kills him. Um, That does four damage. That does three because there's three targets. If I move forward one, it'll do four damage. And then I can... Is there a way I could teleport to him? No. Shieldbreaker would also kill him instantly. Shieldbreaker is decent because it's guaranteed 5 damage. And that gets through a lot of problem enemies here. Tornado is okay. So I think I... What are you doing this turn? Oh, you're just gonna... Oop. So I think I step forward, do 4 damage. Then I lava him and take the 1 damage. No, no, I take more than that. I realize the game lied to me. I don't want to reduce my HP to one yet. Ugh. So I know he's not going to do anything yet. Dare I do anything to hurt him is the question. I wish this just did slightly more damage. We duped, we duped interesting mobility options, but they're not useful to me in this specific scenario. So yeah, so, so far the downside is this tornado. Normally this is really good. If I could have lined up with the demon, I could have done more damage here. I think I just have to hold my turn. I don't think there's anything else I could do. So hopefully we draw something interesting to do. I thought about destroying the 
icicle thing, but I can also take advantage of the fact that he's kind of in the middle of the room. I think I could go up to dodge him. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I could go... Oh, it's so close to being able to kill him. Does the other guy count as flying? If he does, Tornado is going to wreck him. I'm assuming he does. Yeah, he, he is the wing icon. So this will one-shot the annoying trickster, so Tornado will be useful there. I think I just move in the corner and wait, and then I just throw away a bad card, maybe? Um... And I guess I could just one-shot this guy. I don't think he's the real one, but it's one less thing for me to deal with. Yeah. Oh, I almost thought he was gonna teleport into the lava. I would have I would have died laughing if that happened. I mean like you fool. Dash the distance of three tiles, inflict damage to do that kill or recast. Alright, so I could dash into that, but that would be stupid. Um If I tornado, it does two damage, I think, to the other guy, which is okay. Okay, so I think what I do is I walk up, I shield breaker him. Get that out of our hand, because it's the least ranged ability we have. Could do damage if I want to. I only have three AP though. Might just do this to mitigate the damage. Yeah, so it did four due to the explosion of the other effect, which is okay. So the real one put himself next to me, which is uh, a choice. It's a very terrible choice, but he elected to do that. Hmm. Oh, three's in range. My bad. Miscounted. Drew my jetpack, though, which I want for the next room. Let's see what he does as I draw cards. See, this is where Tornado would have been useful just to finish him. I need, like, a... Do I really? I guess I'll burn my 10 damage on him. It feels kind of bad, but we need a problem enemy to go away. So I believe I need to start getting wounded for the basement. And that's exactly where I would have wanted my 10 damage spell right there. That is so unfortunate, actually. So that does two damage to them if I land. Oh, and this will send me to the next floor automatically. Wait a minute. Genius play. Genius play. <laughs> like, oh, like, wait, wait a minute. I don't have to do this legit. Get me out of here. So if I fall down there, I should just go straight to the final area, right? Oh, and I got the card that I was been I've been fishing for. Oh, but sleeping got rid of my bonus cards. Ooh, that's actually really bad. It got rid of my bonus cards. I didn't realize that until just now. Um Let's one-shot you. I don't want you doing things, and then we'll walk away with our remaining action. Hopefully that'll put me out of range. So I could Echo Stomp him, if I have it. I do have it. Oh, if there were more objects, this would have worked. Because none of these are going to help. Okay, so I need two Suffers, but my hand is really bad for the boss. Like, I have... Let's say the boss has five health bars. I can only do three health bars worth of damage currently. 
I would have to draw super lucky. Which is not what I want to be in a position for. Oh! I didn't realize Desperate Burst was activated. So I 4 AP then. I think. Does this change my play? I think it does. So if I move forward one, I could get rid of this. And then I could kill with Desperate I can't kill with us first. I kill with this though. So if I go up one, my plan doesn't change. And then use Desperate Burst here. Which gets through shield. So I have exactly the amount of HP I need for the boss, but my cards are not good. I guess I might have been able to fall in there, maybe. If I had a leap move, I th think I could have leaped to go to the next floor. But my hand is not good, so ideally we're going to dump three of our cards here. Ooh, that is a really bad room for us, actually. Uh, I'm kind of glad we grew got the Sunstrike. Normally that would have been amazing to pull. But right now, not the best. So I could kill two of these instantly if I need to. So I could walk forward, do three damage. What is he doing? He's gonna fish bait spawn and you're just gonna be annoying. None of them are a problem this turn, but I could get rid of some of the problems with this. <sighs> if they had slightly less HP, Sunstrike would have probably killed. Um. I think I get rid of these guys. So that's one half of the room I don't even have to worry about. <sighs> I'm in a weird position. I could do five here. I guess this would be okay to do. So that way I eliminate the big damage to me. I need to draw really good here though. Because I'm going to be Lord, which is annoying. Ooh, the other guy moved away from me, so that's not good. Okay, can we draw something better? Magma might do it if I can get rid of Lore. So if I target the other Magician, he dies with the other ability. I can't tackle him because I'm too close. I could get rid of these. And then then I lose my damage move versus the other guy. Let me think. Do that, move forward. Oh, and then I can Lava him. Actually, no, this is fine. Let's, let's do this. I think that'll be in range of Lava. Yeah, that should. Right, so we're gonna fury swipe. I don't think it really matters which I go for. I'll recast it twice just because. And then we're gonna slide forward. Eruption is okay versus bosses, I think. It would have been another nice boss option. But I think if we keep Heaven's Lance, Brilliant Arrow, I now have four damage moves. So I need to draw two more boss cards and we have a backup card. For AoE. I would like to be able to do more cards, but I don't think it's going to happen. We haven't been running hot with our draws. So we need these to be a crowd control. They kind of were. The problem is, it's, like, it's just slightly out of range. I think I leave the jetpack for now. I'm just thinking about what to do. I don't want to use no quarter until the boss. Unless I'm really forced to use it early, because I'd prefer to have some HP. Uh, Shoulder Bash is okay. I think... Oh, those aren't... Those aren't Ice Floors?
Oh, maybe because of momentum. They're because of momentum. I don't slide. Dango says we could all use a little more HP, to be honest. Yeah. I'm torn what to do here. Don't like this, but I can't think of what else to do. If I charge there, I could shield bash him. That's not going to be good enough. We need an AoE. That's not down for it. We duped our worst card, which is really unfortunate. I, if that if, if I might have to remove down for going forward, because honestly, like a rocket jump, a brilliant arrow, storm runner being duped would have been fine, but this is not fun. Let's learn something together, chat. Does this do what I need it to do? It doesn't quite kill him, so it doesn't allow the recast. That's fair. There's like just not enough near me for that to count. So I could move here, burn all these units, do two damage, melee him once, shield breaker? But is there ice? Oh, there's ice floor here though. That's the problem. So burn will kill that guy, I think. The problem also is the hourglass. So I can't land immediately near me again. <sighs> it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't do enough damage here. If I leap at all, I kill the other guy for free. I think I gotta go for it. So I think no matter what, I take damage here, unless I could kill him here. Do I waste my boss shot, is the question, or do I use this for mobility? If I hit that, I could go further over. This is an interesting option. I wish I could just do, like, one more, without losing HP, one more point of damage. Because we're on Ice Floor, which means he could reach me pretty easily. If I slide down here, this guy's gonna hit me. So either I take one, or I take two. I think I just gotta slide downwards, then. I don't think I have a choice here. I gotta take the damage, I think. Oh, he attacked twice? Oh, that was actually scary. I think I'm... I think I'm almost dead then. Unfortunate. So I could shield breaker him to get through his shield. This says it's gonna hit me, but I know it doesn't. Do I lose my only leverage here? There is one object shy of being able to polycast with down four, and it would have been useful here. So if I negate this, it sets him up for a kill. I just have to do enough damage. So three damage. So if I could do. Okay, so I could do something like Shield Breaker. I could do Divine Cross Shield Breaker Dash. That feels really awkward. Is there really no other choice? Uh... It says suffer one damage, so I know it won't kill me. I think I have to do this, which feels really bad. I don't see another way out of this currently for me. And I back up one. Then I dash into him. Which I'm not entirely convinced I had to do necessarily. To use the shield breaker, but it's good to get that out of my hand. So you summon something else and it died. Where's your effective attack range? 
Well, that's a pretty big range. I think we're gonna hide in the corner here. And draw into something hopefully nice. The double strike from the swipe is actually pretty huge. I think I can use it here. I four boss damage five boss damaging moves. That might be enough to kill the boss. So now the question is, can I reach the boss without dying? That's gonna be an entirely different question. So all we need to do now is get to the end. I think I have everything I need to win. Oh, this room is... This room is atrocious. Oh no. Um... Yikes. Oh, this room is a big yikes chat. Uh, well, I'm gonna go for it. I'm absolutely gonna recast here. So fortunately we had Eye of the Storm, the MVP of the Raider deck. Because I don't know what we would do without it, to be honest with you. I think that would have been GG. So I would like to take a heal, and we have a couple rooms I could get injured in if I need to. Although actually, before I heal, where is the exit relative to me? Oh gosh, I don't even see it. Okay, we're, we're taking the heal. I actually don't want to reset my cards yet. I think I'm going to go one more room. Where's the exit? Ooh, it's really far. Okay. So we got to get injured in like two rooms and we have an infinite amount. Oh, I got Limit Breaker. Uh, I don't know if this is good enough to kill a boss, but it is good to hold on to for now. You stun. I think you're the problem character here. Uh, can I lure him closer? Not really. Do I use a Suffer card here? I don't think I do. So as I said before, I have five boss kill moves. I don't remember if the boss has five or six health bars. I'm really desperately trying to remember. If the boss has five health bars, I could literally win right now without drawing any additional cards. Three suffers, 10 damage, 10 damage. And I get to draw into one card, potentially to finish the other boss. So I'd be able to do potentially four, six, six or so damage. I am really sad though that we got down four of all the cards that could have duped. I should have removed it from the deck. Getting rid of a Suffer is good, but also risky. I prefer to hold on to my Limit Break for now. I could, in theory, get rid of Brilliant Arrow. Uh, I don't like the position that I'm in. Is there something I could get rid of that I don't care about? Maybe Hurricane? I could get rid of Hurricane and draw another card next turn. That also puts them in Deadly Swipe range. So this might be good for me. So I get one card redraw. And because of how they positioned, they did not line up appropriately. Thank you, game. Love it. We have enough boss kill. I think I need you to die. I think the problem here is the other guy has stun. I think he's forcing my hand here. I could have held on the quick slash. Is there a way I could do three damage? No. I would have to use Heaven's Lance, which is not the end of the world. I have, as I said before, five boss moves. So, so right now Heaven's Lance would benefit me more if I were to do... Actually, it won't benefit me. I can't hit him again. Oh, then I'd have to use Limit Break. Ooh, that feels kind of terrible. Don't... Oh, that feels really terrible. I think I have to burn it, though. So I got punished for healing. I can't afford a stun. I can afford some damage here. I need to get injured before the final area regardless. I have five boss kill moves. Take a little damage there, that's fine. 
I redrew the card that I just used, so that's fun. I drew the card I was looking for. Depending on what this is, this could be huge, or it could screw me. Because I need to do three damage. All right, let's not risk it. Oh, wait, he had shield. He had shield. Uh, run away and panic then? All right, we're good. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Okay. So I have the... I can do two damage to myself outside of combat, and this could dupe something that I need. I have one potential combat room between me and the end. I think I use this now to draw into something good. Let's hope... Please give me a boss kill card. Please give me a boss kill card. Ideally, it'll be mobility, boss kill. I'll take double mobility. I'll take double room clear. I don't want it to be like tornado or something. Just pretty much anything but tornado. I'm okay with it. Oh, I had an... Uh, oh. I got down... I have one in the deck! That, that was a 1 in, like, 30. I did it again. Come on. I shuffled my deck. How is it still at the bottom? I mean, Echo Slam is really good, but it's not going to help me with the boss. Okay, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6 boss kill cards, 1 mobility card. I'm going to hope with Echo Slam I can reach the boss. And I need to take one damage somehow, which actually doesn't matter because I could force myself to take damage with Heaven's Lance if I really need to. I'd prefer to take one damage somehow. See what happens. Can I take one damage safely in this room? Oh, this room looks horrendous. This, this room looks absolutely horrendous. Oh, I could dupe cards again. And I can dupe... And I can do, unfortunately, downpour again, which is not what I want. Um. Yikes. This is a not good position to be in. My only AoE. Right, if I move forward twice, can I kill the whole room with one move forward twice? I think. If I don't, I die. Oh, you're a golem, so you have HP. But, well, hold on. How far does Echo Slam reach? It's not gonna hit the one in the corner. Mmm. If it was... If this crystal was one tile closer, I could have one-shot this whole room. That is so sad that I can't do that. I'm thinking... I don't want to Heaven's Lance unless I need to. I have Devotion to hurt myself outside of combat. So I could technically do 5 damage to myself. The problem is that I know my cards are terrible at the bottom of my deck. I could force a double Echo Slam if I really need it. Oh, why did it have to be the Stun Golem too? It sucks so much, chat. I think this is the one that just shoots... Oh, they both are the Stun Golem. So I haven't even seen their other golems yet. Hmm. If I could have injured myself for another AP, will this matter? It doesn't say I gain the AP. That's what I'm worried about. Because maybe it's only at the start of turn I get it. Hmm. I'm just thinking about what to do here. Uh, would that work? I don't have two Echo Slams, though. Oh, this is so risky. One, two, three. And it won't kill the Golem if I Echo Slam again. Also, I didn't realize Downpour was such a bad AoE range. It's literally the same range as Echo Slam, but just worse. 
Because if there's five targets, I'm doing five damage, where downpour doesn't do as much. So I'm forced in a very awkward situation here. I actually don't know what to do. Because I, I know my bottom cards are terrible. Like, if my bottom card was Limit Break or Double Echo Slam, I would have been fine. But it, it had to be Downpour again. That's kind of unlucky, because I'm pretty sure I went and restocked my cards in between. But possibly I didn't, which would explain why I got Downpour again. Um... This doesn't count as a kill. Is there some form of movement I can do... Because you're going to do a lot of damage to me, so I, I have to move out of the way. But how do I survive the swing back? Because it's going to stun me, I'm going to lose all my cards. Just so chat is clear, if he stuns me, the run is over. I lose my entire hand. But it's like, how do I give up my hand and not just lose instantly, is the question. And the problem is, this guy is so close to the other guy, I actually don't know what to do. The only thing I can think of to buy time is I can move to... I could go down... Right one, down one, right one? I think that's all I can do. I... I think this will work, but it feels really bad. So we'll do this. I wish I could have injured myself for one more HP, and then I would have been fine. So this is not necessarily a problem yet. Okay, they might have given me an out there. We'll see. So I could kill basically all of them instantly if I need to. It doesn't recast? I guess the block doesn't count as the... Because it doesn't have HP. Well, that's actually slightly annoying. So I could AoE damage myself. I think I have to. So if I double AoE, are you targeting me? You're not. And you're over here, so I'm not worried about you. So I think if I... I think I have to hard commit. I think I gotta... Damage you... Can I move without getting in range? Okay, so you're not going to do anything threatening to me this turn. So if I move down one, I can get in range of Heaven's Lance and kill them. Oh, this feels so terrible. So I'm going to do this. Into this. I would like an extra AP so I can win next turn. I would desperately like another AP so I can win. You really slept me? Really? That just happened. Wow. Okay. Well, so much for my bonus cards. What a jerk. I mean, he got rid of my downpours, which I'm not super sad about. But I am annoyed that he forced me to waste a turn to wake up. What a absolute jerk. So I need to move three because he just ate my movement. Let's not do that ability. Uh, Wow. That really sucks. I need a turn where I don't get slipped. Downpour would actually be useful here because I can use it to kill everything near the other guy. Alright, so what is the other guy doing? So he's gonna sleep me again. Let's get cards. So I knew what I was gonna draw. The question is, can I take advantage of it? So I just need to move one space, I think. And get in range of this down force so I could hit the other guy. I'm gonna go one, two, use downpour. Hopefully we draw something nice or I could be in trouble. 
Okay, that's not the end of the world. I can get rid of the other thing if I get another nice ability here. <laughs> oh, no, I'm being taunted. I, ha I have absolutely terrible bottom cards. Game, please. I beg of you. Anything other, like, where were you like five rooms ago? <laughs> this isn't fair. I, uh, I'm like so close yet so far. I'm so sad. All right, so we can maybe one shot. I have to double hit though. Uh, are you really gonna force me to burn this for another downpour? Oh, this is so stupid. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six boss cards. So I can do six whole health bars of damage. I'm gonna have to hope that's enough. Because, you know, whatever I happen to draw on top of that is probably not going to be useful. I would have loved for this devotion to have hit another boss card, but uh, it's not in the cards, as it were. So if I move forward one, sack two, how much damage do I need to do? I could downpour into this, but he can reach me. See, the problem is he can reach me. And I don't think I could be in a position where... Oh, wait, that actually goes full screen. Ooh, change of plan. Uh, in which case, I will dupe this. I will teleport. I'm now out of range of the golem. I could cancel my movement here. I could do a lot of damage here. Good downpour again. It's not the worst. Might be better just for me to use one of these, though. Let's get rid of one of these. Stunned him. So I get another turn to draw something useful. Please draw me something useful. Ooh. Wow, my hand is all boss cards. That is actually disgusting. So if we could get to the end, we win. That is four, five, six, seven, eight boss cards. Holy. I would love to win with Echo Slam here, but can I afford to use it? I'm one room away. The puzzle room might be a real room. That's what I'm worried about. If the puzzle room is real, I am so effed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm going to trust in the heart of the cards here. Do I want to reset my deck? I think I do. <sighs> Don't want to do anything there. So I think the next room is a guaranteed fight. Let's reset, reset the cards. I would have loved to heal. Because I'm a little nervous about this last room. I have one AoE. I'm going to have to top deck something crazy. Because there's no way I could kill the spider with any of my other moves. Other than Brilliant Arrow, which is a little excessive. That is one of the worst possible rooms I could have seen right before the final boss. Wow. Wow, oh wow, was that bad. <laughs> Um, can I do anything about this? No. Well, draw me something good. Ooh, Sunstrike is actually pretty good. Ooh. I could get rid of some of the problems right now. So I could kill you. What is the most annoying target here, is the question I'm asking myself. Oh, 
I'm so scared to give up the AoE, but I think I have to. Because all these enemies are problems. That's that's the problem. Every single one of these is bad for us. I think in order to draw more cards. So Sunstrike I could still use to hit the boss. If the boss doesn't have more than 6 HP, it's another boss move. But I feel like this is really greedy to do. So I should probably use it to damage one of the people in the back. So I think I'm going to have to gamble here a little bit. Ideally, I would want to do it in a way that I could take advantage of it later. So let's get rid of these two. Then double Brilliant Arrow. Because I could probably deal with that guy later. And then we could sit around and draw cards. And we're going to draw cards until we have what we need. So this will get rid of bombs. And most of our problems are gone. I need to draw decently here. So we have some time to fish out some cards. Another Sunburst is pretty good. So I have something to end the encounter currently. I think I wait another turn and determine what to do. I think that's the correct play. I can almost melee these to death, which is kind of funny. Okay, I need to move. Let's move one. So I get one more turn to think about this. So if I don't like what I'm drawing, I could try to burn it in another room. But I could force another card to be drawn here. No matter what. Please be another boss card. Oh, it's not a boss card. Um, I could try to hold the sun strike if I think it's good enough for the boss. Storm Runner potentially would do would be my mobility that I need to reach the boss sooner. So I do need this, I think. <sighs> One, two, three. I'm so worried. I'm so worried the boss is gonna have some new gimmick and it's just not gonna work. Oh, this is the worst feeling. It had to be- why did it have to be downpour, chat? <laughs> Just any card. We had so many good cards. At least 20 of our 60 card deck were legit boss slayers. We drew none of them. It was so sad. Our other ones would have been okay. If we had drawn any of our mobility, like Storm Runner, I would have been happy with that. But this is like an ultra dead card and I can't even get rid of it to do anything. Like, it technically empowers uh, doubling damage here. But it's not that great, to be honest. Um, I think I just gotta end it. I don't think I'm gonna draw better. Oh, I'm so nervous we're gonna get a bad hand. It's all down to... No, 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 don't... No, 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 no. So we're gonna reset our cards in library. Alright, so here's what has to happen, chat. I have to draw decently well. The boss has to get close to me. I have one move to get close to the boss. We have some AoE. But they rely on us getting close. So there's a little bit of RNG whether I can two-turn this or not. If the boss has less than five health bars, we're good. If the boss has six, I'm kind of concerned. We could do literally, we could deal with six. We can't deal with anything else. If it's got seven, then I'm going to feel real sad, chat. <laughs> it's going to be a real sad boss battle. I just don't know. I don't remember if it had five or seven. I know it was more than, f I know it was at least four. Oh, I'm so worried about this. If it starts point blank, that saves us some time. Okay. I'm... This might be fine, depending on what you do. You're flying. Oh, we, we got mobility, but the, we didn't draw well. We got mobility, but did not draw well. You have... Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You only have that much health? Oh. Chad, I got really bad news for this boss. Um, We do a health bar per attack. So now I just have to reach the boss, and the boss is dead. The boss has less health bars than I thought. Looks like the boss heals after it gets struck, which I think is a new mechanic. 
But uh, I got bad news for you. I... That flame jet, I, I I think I would have been sleeping on that. That might save the run. So it's over. I have two mobility skills, and I have to get in range of one of my boss kills. So let's see what the boss does. Please stay near me. Oh, you don't even move? Oh, GG. Never mind, chat. Never mind, we're good. Okay, so the boss did get tougher, but not in a way that mattered. <laughs> GG. I was really worried that was going to be 5 or 6 or whatever, and it was going to get new abilities, but... The fear was not warranted. And that time we got there fairly legit. I think I cleared the dungeon the way raiders intended, which feels terrible. <laughs> I don't like the stress of dealing with raider, where I'm literally just top decking to win. I don't believe in the heart of the cards, Chad. I'm sorry. I believe in averages and statistics. Ooh, challenge over. Get me out of here. So got it, got it first try. Downpour almost screwed me up. For sure, that was almost GG to the whole run. Let's open our cards. Yeah, Dragon got stomped for sure. Another limit break? That's such a shame because I'm probably not going to play Raider again. Three limit breaks would have been kind of sick in that deck. Ooh. Rearrange. Click three damage and bestow regen five. Interesting. I could technically upgrade the booster packs, but the thing is, is I don't really care. <laughs> I, I'm at the end of the game. I'm just going to see what I get at this point. I don't feel like wasting resources. Return target HP to its value on the previous turn. Interesting. Oh, we did get one new card. Potent Hex. Inflict Hex 2 in an area. Unit Suffering Hex are destroyed instead. Ooh. That's actually really good. Another alternative kill command. And finally, follow the Arcanum. So we got one last new card. We're almost, we're almost done with collecting cards in general. Oh, I was going to say, you better give me uh, an upgrade here. At turn, start a turn, draw one, charge, move a tile. That's pretty generically good, I guess. So yeah, we just need to potentially get the last 10 or so of these. So let's go ahead in the quest. What is our reward for destroying that boss? Hey friend, how was it? Have you overcome my challenge? Oh, you went and done it. I'm so pumped. I'm gonna go with you to top of that tower right now. But I can't. Really a bummer, but we could go on adventures together once this is over. Look at this. One of my best cards. Use it well. Humble. Attack a target three times. Great. Attack a target five times instead. Wait, hold on, hold on. So when I was complaining about the game not providing a card that it would be essential for this deck to feel good, you give it to me after I'm done with the deck? I was just complaining earlier how there wasn't like a multi-strike card other than Limit Breaker, and it's a one of fun of. That's so sad. We got a lot of shards, but whatever. All right, so, so now the question we're gonna ask ourselves is, what challenge do we do next? Eventually we'll do the taboo stuff, but I might wait until the end of the game. Traveler, we have to do last, because that's going to clear another area that I'd prefer not to do yet. So I guess I do discard 10 or more negative effect cards at once. Hmm. I'm just thinking about how to... If there's other cards that cause negative effects, like disease. I imagine a lot of the taboo cards do that. the guardian lost wreckage i mean technically i could bring the ward in there and get rid of it <sighs> i might be able to do it all in one i'm thinking about it if i don't get the discard 10 or more negative effects at once because it would be like i would have to get disease 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 diseased now, are there enough mushrooms to stack it no i think i need something else potentially to add to it let's think for a little bit so I'm going to remove... Oh, I had two downpours. That's why I drew it twice. 
Let's get rid of downpours and then replace them with the limit breaker and wherever pummel is. Inflict six damage and suffer two? Wait, that's actually insane. Hey, where's pummel? Am I just not seeing it? Oh, it's a oh, it's in the middle. Okay. I mean, this deck was actually okay. It had enough projectiles that it was fine. I think Eruption helped save the deck a little bit, as did Sunstrike. Those were definitely MVPs in the deck, for sure. I gotta get rid of one card, potentially. Probably Tornado. That's probably the least impactful card. So I'll save this deck again. It, it put in the work. I don't know how much I'm really gonna use, like, Giant Slayer, Cross, Azuna Drop. It's probably okay. I can save over this one pretty safely. Alright, so let's clear our deck. No, no, no. Clear. And I filter by negative effects. I can. I forgot what they do. What button do I press for that? UI questions? Okay. Right stick doesn't do it. Left stick? No, that doesn't do it. Triangle? No. Square? I mean, like, I could kind of guess by the context clues that this is disease. But is there a self-disease? I thought there was. So I could rain of frogs myself. Bad breath, nice Final Fantasy 7 reference. Um I mean I could also root myself, but that would be kind of brutal. I definitely don't want to bleed myself. What does this do? Oh, petrify. No 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 no. We don't want that. So the only thing I can think of is root and disease, maybe. Because there's things where I can, like, root myself and heal. Where was that at? So, like, technically if I draw, like, four in roots, this would be good enough. I mean, I could try to build a deck around it, as I said before. I could try to get both challenges at once, which is a little greedy. But, you know, we like greed. Obviously, I'd prefer not to take any damage at all. Uh... Don't... I think I do want immunity to... Well, maybe not immunity to disease. Maybe I just want... Sleep immunity, maybe? So what can I do to help myself? Marsh was good. We need that. Rosa Meteor was really nice. Blooming could be okay. Earthbind, I wish I had more of these. Click one damage and disease five and in an area. I wonder if I can frostwave myself. Maybe I think it's centered on me. I don't think it works. And I went four in roots. Hmm. It's not quite enough by itself. So I'd, I'd have to be able to disease myself. It's a little inconsistent based off of this. Binding palm. Take a couple of these to see how I feel about it. Probably want some craters. I need some range damage. So we're gonna go five crossbows. Go 
Golem Swing getting enemies away from me is good, I think. Plasma Gates is in. Tesla Coil is definitely in. AoE Damage and Heal is in. Immune 1 is in for sure. Mox Fortune is in. Uh, Five Pile Drivers is in. Not in love with our choices here. There's not a lot of grounded enemies for Caltrops to really work. Buzzsaw is situational. I could put one Buzzsaw on the deck. I probably want to get an ale as a backup purge. Because I do need to be able to cure status ailments, but I don't want to have so many that I get screwed over by it. Uh, Selectite is in. Where's the grounded version? Stalagmite. There it is. Click stun, place Stalagmite. Oh, Avalanche Slam was definitely really good. We're taking that. Sound the horn I didn't use. Maybe it could be useful. We'll try that. I'll put one castle on the deck. Ice Tome is just terrible. Hate that card. Like, if you're immune, if you have the immunity cards, it's not bad, but it, the fact that I need to be immune for the card to be okay is a sign of a revisit the workshop kind of thing. Trying to see if any of these would be useful to me. So I can't quite disease myself up enough. If I get attacked by a lot of ghosts, I could potentially do it. But that's risky. slightly better options here, but I'm not really excited. Chain to a rock. Summon a chaining rock inflicts root one to any unit in target position. I mean, I might be able to use this to root myself, maybe? So I'll put two of those in there, just in case. really excited for these choices, to be honest with you. I need more immunity stuff. So I think that's the best I can do. One buzzsaw for later. I don't think Gizmo self-destruct is great. I mean, I could, I could put one in there, but it's very likely to be a dead card. Yeah. Everything else I think is just too situational. We have an okay amount of healing in here where I can heal myself a couple different ways. I have an okay amount of purges. As long as I don't have more than one ale. If I have more than one ale, I'm getting rid of it. Okay, that's probably fine. So let's hope that this is good enough. And then what I could do is maybe dupe some cards. Oh, right, the arena. Um... Ah, there's another challenge I can do. So I did get the life exchange that I needed here. I'm missing meditation. Hmm. I'm assuming it could be from the area I still haven't been to, because as a reminder, I still haven't technically gone to every dungeon yet. I guess while we're here, I could do the bard puzzle, I guess.
Uh, let's see what happens. Ooh, what a weird hand. Alright, well, I need to get closer. So imagining I, like... Uh... I'm just thinking. <sighs> I'm thinking. Like, this is right, because I think- I can't get closer. I'm just thinking about for this card. Do I dupe you, or do I dupe you? Hmm. I think I dupe you. And then I can swap your HP with you, and this works? I think? I hope this works. I don't think I want to use consume here. Yeah, getting charmed here doesn't matter because I don't plan on attacking. Okay, that was the correct solution. Okay, I thought it through. I, I did puzzles. The rounds end while at max HP heal two all allies. Why does that matter? What? Oh, 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 oh. Not combat. I I thought that was like combat end. Rounds and max HP heal all allies. Um, that's actually kind of an interesting deck for... That could be an interesting final curio for the, uh, what's it called? The summon pack. If I don't care about drawing cards, being able to heal them could be useful. But at the same time, it's like... Will 2 HP really matter against a lot of the bosses? I feel like the answer is no. So I could do another draft thing at some point. Let's save that for later. I don't think I'm in the mood for drafts at the moment. So I think we cleared everything except for one challenge because I just don't have it. That's pretty good. Like, if if all I have left is one thing, and it's probably because I didn't go to the area that drops the card, I think that's okay. Looks like there's also challenges beyond here. So we'll see if we can unlock new things later. I'm hoping this is good enough. Depending on what I draw, we'll... Oh, I don't want to purify my items now. Alright, so I don't know if that ties into an ending yet, so we're going to make a safety save. So I could get rid of all the Traveler cards, but I also would like to do some challenges with them at some point. Um... Wait, where do I have to go? Is it Glacial Library or the other place? Lost Wreckage. Okay. Yeah, I definitely don't want to make this challenge harder on myself. Like, clearing the other area. It's it's not that it's like... it's It'll be difficult, but not in a very exciting way. It'll just be like, oh, that was cheap. And force really unnecessary resets. Uh, I think I just stunned the room, right? Oh. I made a mistake. I never ch I thought I didn't change my curio. Let's quit the menu. <laughs> oh, I'm like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Not for this challenge. I don't plan on being low in health. Curios actually kind of matter for this deck. And also, counterpoint. That starting room was terrible. Alright, so what do I think would help me the most? The end of turn, gain immune one. Randomly being immune to damage would make the boss easier. I 
Get draw more cards. Ooh, it's 10 movement spaces equal draw one. Interesting. Hmm. It's hard to combat, gain flight, maybe. And around heal all gizmos by one. I could try that approach. Wouldn't be the worst thing ever. At the end of round, all enemies suffering root or hit for one damage. Oh. I either do that one or the one that reveals everything. It does one damage at the start of turn. It would make my root cards way better. It's the one where it's like the end of turn hit... Where it just does one damage. That one was also extremely strong. Start of turn, gain 1 AP if any unit is suffering wound. Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna try barbed wire over Stormbringer. Stormbringer was really nice. But maybe because I want to kill the boss quickly, maybe this will be better. Though I, I trade a safer journey there for more boss damage. And if it doesn't work on bosses, it's fine, because there's a lot of times I just have dead root cards in my hand anyway. Hmm. I just nuke you, right? So I could just root them and they take one damage now. So I think this is an example of the thing potentially being useful. And then he's dead because I rooted him. And then I end my turn and he dies? Oh, that's right. He didn't take any initial damage. That's fair. Uh, I'm going to let the enemy come towards me. Because now the root 2 means that my things that stun them... Potentially just do damage over time, which I'm okay with. The secret passageway using the ice block from Meteor. That was kind of a nice touch. So if I don't get 10 status ailments, I'll figure out a way to do with it. I think I just need more of the generic cards. I forgot to see if there's anything I wanted to duplicate here, but I think we're good for now. Hmm. So I could let this thing get hit on purpose. It's gonna target here. This ice floor? This is not ice floor. Um. So I can move forward two to dodge that. And it could put me... I need to be able to place it, like, here? It can make the enemy kill itself, potentially, because I know it can activate its own ability. So maybe if I do this, this will work? For now, just move forward two. Yeah, so it could be possible the other one is just more generically useful. Charm is also easy to stack up, potentially, as my other ailment. So I could root to them. I think I probably do.
So she did what I wanted. And then she died to her own ability. So that was kind of nice. Ooh, I think they went out of range there, which is unfortunate. Oh. Oh, because he's on a web over the air. It doesn't count. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, is there a way I can make this useful is the question. So you're going to target me. So I have to kill you this turn or I'm going to take damage. Let's just slag my kill him. Oh, wait, I don't even care what the other one does. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that was GG no matter what there. Sadly, though, it did target my other ability. Oh, and the- oh, it triggers on the enemies that are rooted? Oh, that's funny. Wait, that is- I, that's actually a good counterplay against that enemy specifically. I didn't even think about that. So while it does do worse against stealth units, it does mean the spider duplicates kill themselves, naturally. That's kind of funny, actually. Hmm. So this guy that's just gonna dupe himself a lot. Do something like this if I wanted to get free damage. I guess. Walk forward in my turn. Why didn't I teleport to the other one? Why didn't I teleport? Oh, it teleports me after everybody's done? That's not how I thought that worked. That's. That is most unfortunate. That is most unfortunate. Well, that's fine. That's why we got this ability. Love that I can injure myself with my own ability. So I could stun him for two turns, which is pretty brutal. Hmm. So as long as I move up here, I guess I dodge his web. Hmm. I think this is basically GG. Then I just explode it. Stun him with the avalanche slam. Sure, why not? <laughs> just to just to send a message. I don't care if I take damage here. Got a card cycle anyway. Hmm, that's not good. That's okay. Hmm. Too bad they're not going to both attack me this turn. That would have been ideal. Um... But ground him so he takes two damage over time. Then I could just... Attack the chair. Let's just give ourselves immunity here. Let's not think about it.
He almost died to his own ability, nice. Both of them are basically dead. It's stunning him for three turns is monstrous. What are you gonna do if I don't do anything? Okay, you'll hit me eventually. Um that stuns him waste his turn. I burn another immunity card, which again, we have quite a few. I just need to hold some for the final floor. Because that'll make killing the boss way easier if we're literally immune every other turn. I drew a fantastic set of cards, I think. He's just dead to root, I think. There we go. So that time root was somewhat useful. So that brings up the weaker cards in the warden's pack, I guess. Uh, what do I do here? Oh, well, I mean, the immediate obvious answer is to just Tesla repeatedly. So I think I just leave this over here with them for now. And then I just try to dodge wherever you're aiming. Where are you aiming? No matter where she teleports, I have pretty good coverage of the room. And if he hits it with a web, then obviously he damages himself. So I could just root a random target to make it take damage. I think I'd do something gross like this. I think this just kind of outright kills him. Just gotta dodge the AoE here by moving up twice, I think. This might be GG. <laughs> that, was a, that was a monster combo. See, I want to set this up on the boss. <laughs> See, chat, that excites me. Oh, you're- oh, so I can just point and click and you die. Oh, that's kind of nice. Chaining Rock is just a one damage anywhere in the room attack. Okay. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Yeah, we can see the power of the Tesla gate, which is one of my new favorite inventions. I like crossbow. I'm going to say move aside. And this thing works, I think, regardless, so I can stop them from moving. Um. So what are you going to do? You're the one that attacks point blank if I'm too close. I think you'll try to go... Actually, I don't know what you're going to do if I were to go... I don't trust you, actually. Interesting. So he will attack it. Hmm. I'm going to hold on to this immunity card for now. And now our blooming card is a two damage ability. Which is actually kind of sick. So that has some nice synergy with our Curio. Because obviously just doing a 2 damage AoE and the enemy can't reach you is pretty good most of the time. And especially since this works on flying enemies. So if I get one more of those, it's basically GG. Oh, speaking of GG. So now I just play the dodging game, it's over. Let the game play itself now. Goodbye. Just gonna wave to the enemy. Bye bye. So here's an example of where the Curio elevates the deck versus just exposing invincibility. Like the other one is more generically good. This one is. It's got a little bit of a trade off, but I think it's worth it. So, as I said before, we're gonna hold on to that immunity card till the end of the game if we can. We can use that to get through the boss and set up our nasty trap combos. So ideally, I'm going to... Actually, I think it's already over. GG. Oh, that's 
so unfair. Yeah, root plus this also makes our other abilities really strong. So if we end up rooting the boss at any point, I think it's also just GG. Uh, don't care about optional stuff, that's fine. Yeah, dealing with that guy in the upper left could be a problem. Hmm. Thank you, Nate, for the lurk. Hope you're doing well. Two grounded stalagmites, that's a full chat. Uh... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Rooting them is not the worst thing ever. Immune 2 is too powerful to give up. That's two entire boss turns I can use to set up on Gizmos. If I get one more immunity, then it's pretty much guaranteed I beat the boss damageless, because it literally just can't be hurt. Real question is, do I risk getting hit by this? I don't think I want to. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage, because we have other means of healing ourselves. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to end my turn over here. I'm going to summon... Maybe the crossbow just to get rid of it? I mean, it's good, but it's not like... Ooh, I could set up crossbow into the pile driver. Oh, that would be kind of sick. That'd actually be pretty sick. So if I move it here, I get most coverage. Now let's move it here, get most coverage. And then put you here. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Because I can't deal with stealth directly without that other curio. The other enemy is moving around that way. Interesting. So I could just damage. Kill the enemy near me. I think I will. This enemy's dead near me. Pile driver. Kills that guy. Ooh, it hit the wrong target. Hmm, that's kind of unfortunate. I don't think the other guy could punish me, though. So this might still be fine. But that also means the thing that roots and regens is actually super strong, because it leads to the one-shot with the ground ability. So I guess regen doesn't matter if you one-shot. I guess it's the best way to frame it. Nice little kill there. Let's lure him towards me and then punish him. So if I root him right here, which is a, a, something I wasn't thinking about before, I think he just dies here. So in a weird way, our root regen has become our ultimate damage card. Kind of funny to think about it. So it leads to crush. So it can heal us alternatively in a pinch outside of combat. Or if I leave it on them, it just leaves them neutral but unable to reach me. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting. So I figured I'd try different cards, see how they meshed with it. And I'm glad I experimented a little bit there. It's definitely missing out. Um, well, that was pretty much a flawless victory. So I'm just going to reset my cards. We're holding on to one of the most important cards in our hand. So looking good for us. So, so far, challenges going fine. I'm not feeling comfortable. Yeah, because see, those I think would only give me about three disease. I would like to keep a plasma gate, but we have one more floor, I think, before I need to worry about that. Uh, could root this problem guy in place and kill him. <sighs> it's not really a good... Not really a good way to hit this guy is the problem. 
I'm gonna take damage on purpose, because I don't think it matters if I get damage prior to the boss battle. So I could end up getting disease... Presumably three. So if I had drawn four root cards, which is possible, because we have eight cards. I, dr I already had one in my hand. I might have been able to give myself ten status ailments. If I'd been lucky with some draws. Right now, I'm not going to worry about it, though. Let's just see what they do if I go over here. Well, there's five disease. We still might get lucky, as I said before. It's possible. I just need a purge. Seven, eight, nine. So I have nine already. I can regen. I can root myself. I have to get rid of a card though, so I can draw another card. Let's root regen you, so I don't need to worry about you. So all we need to do is draw a perch card, and we win the other challenge. On purge card. It's not what I'm looking for. Alright, so we need to still draw. I got another immunity card, but it's not good enough. Let's get rid of our regular card draw. I can get enough disease, I think, next turn. And if not, I'll get it the turn after, so it doesn't matter. Just want to potentially draw a purge. How did we... How did we not draw one? It's so sad. Oh, is there a limit? Oh, you can't get above eight of a status ailment? Really? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, I can root myself. I just wish I knew that beforehand. That feels kind of arbitrary. Whatever. I guess I'll binding palm you because it's funny. Yeah, so the, the max limit is eight. So I would have to root myself with the other root card. So I definitely want to come back here when we draw better cards. Unfortunate. So this would have been like the room for the challenge. Just did, I sadly did not draw the purge. I wasted my root card too, which is a little silly. But I also didn't know there was a limit of status ailments until just now, in my defense. Um, I just need a plasma gate for the end. I could just. just end my turn and wait because we're not at max hand size I don't think three six seven I think I can draw eight cards unless I gave myself immunity to something which I might have oh you know what it was probably immunity sleep now that I think about it that checks out uh how injured are you are you at two health well you're at five really thought you're taking oh because I rooted you in place earlier um Hmm. I guess I'll gain immunity for a turn? So it might have been a mistake actually to take any kind of immunity ups. Because I think card draw is more important on this character than anything else. Tesla Coil Double Plasma Gate is a really sick turn to go into. Say GG to this guy. So yeah, these mushrooms seem easy enough to get the challenge. I just need to stock up on more purges. And then just end the run when we're done. Hmm, still can't heal, but I drew pretty well. 
Do I get greedy for an immunity card? I don't think I want to. Maybe do one, two, ceiling? Puts him near me. Uh, I don't like my options here. I just walk back with space then. Oh, I forgot about the wheel. Hmm, that complicates my turn significantly. So I'm gonna have to take some damage here, unfortunately. <laughs> I I was hoping to leave via box. That's fine. They put me to sleep, it's fun. It's not like I have bonus cards. Oh, <laughs> where they target that of all things, sure. Take that, I guess. Yeah, let's give herself immunity here. Then I can heal in the next area, maybe. Oh. It said I was in the red zone for damage. I feel kind of lied to, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's root you. And use you to detonate the other thing. Hmm. A couple of these, make sure I'm not missing shards or something. A little bit of shards. So I think no matter what, I'm going to reset the game after this, because I'm noticing some performance issues again. Otherwise, we'll keep going for now. Ooh. That's an unfortunate series of events. Are you going to hit me from here? I think you are, right? Because you're a big jerk. Yeah, you're a big jerk. Um... should work right if you do this oh but this guy's gonna do oh this guy's gonna do so much damage to me i somehow managed to not draw a heal card which is a bit of, dis of a disappointment um i mean i could try to assume he's gonna hit me i could do something really silly just to kill him i could do the best way to do it so i can hit this guy at least once that'll damage this guy it's this pro this guy's the problem he's gonna move first so i could do something like this maybe i'm gonna take a damage here but i'm gonna reduce how much damage i take overall so we're gonna hope for a heal card here i got a couple of them I probably could have put the pylon closer to him in retrospect, because that would have killed him. That's fine. Oh, he hits him three. Okay, right, I gotta be careful. He's down taking damage. I gained the purge that I was looking for, which really sucks, but I can't do anything about that now. Ew. Um. And I guess I can walk up Purge. Move upwards out of the explosion range. The other guy's just kind of dead. use this to heal. It's not bad. 
Again, we'll take all our alternative healing methods. As long as I'm still doing damage, I'm happy. See, the other guy can't do anything. He's already dead. So we drew a heal card, so I'm happy. So I'm out of the danger zone for now. Ooh, double Tesla Claw, Plasma, and Crossbow. That is a nasty combo. Poor game. Thinking about it. Uh, so I think I'm going to get healed here and also reset our cards if both are an option. Can't heal fully, but I can get a partial heal. We'll take that. So 7 HP. I don't plan on getting hit on the boss fight. Do I want to send stuff back to town? Nah. Odds of dying are pretty low. Playing a very defensive deck and I just healed. Although, this room looks kind of gross. Hmm. Are you hitting me with anything? You're gonna fish bait me. Um... only I could just put it, like, right behind him. That sucks that I can't. I mean, like, I could try to... If I do this, this doesn't help me, because I wouldn't be able to hit the ghost, ideally, here, but I can't. I could hit him with the stalactite. To be one, two, but then that would be my turn. I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, I guess I have nothing better to go for. One less damage source in the room. Even if he explodes here, it doesn't really matter. Oh, he put the fish bait near me. That was kind of him. That could have been much, much worse. So you're going to try to melee me. I mostly just want to heal with one of my healing cards, but I have disease. Um, could do this to block my path and then Tesla. Better than nothing. So let's take a little damage here. But I also got a heal ability. So even though he's invincible here. Oh, heroic stand and I got a Mox Fortune. That is four turns of immunity on the boss. That is a lot of shenanigans I could get into in the meantime. Uh... If I do this, what does he even do? Even if he stealths here, I don't think it matters. So can you heal another point of HP? He's dead. <laughs> there we go. So if I need to, I have another healing source. I have two immunities. Just need to find the exit and we're good. Got one source of healing in the corner. So he can't hit... He can hit me from there? I didn't think he was allowed to move three and attack me. I thought he could just move two. Huh. It's kind of unfortunate if that's the case. So what I'm going to do then, let's make his life easier. We're going to go up one, and then I'm going to go teehee retaliate. <laughs> and then I'll give me some time to buy it, get a better card. that give me a lot more damage. So 
So I could do this root and then move one space. I think that's the best play. How do I see turn order? There we go. So he's going to go second. Um... <clears throat> so that'll still hit me. The other guy might die from this. Yeah, so he didn't even attack. She healed herself though, which is annoying. I'm gonna give myself immunity. Let's see what she does next. So sadly, she did take the healing out of the room. Oh, he's still at root. Oops. I was not paying attention. Gonna do a lot of damage if that hits me. Uh, I'm gonna interrupt this attack. I'm gonna hold on. I, I think I'm being a little greedy by not just going for the Tesla Claw here. I think I'm paying for it in potential healing. And now the slack bites in my way. Wow, that is just an unfortunate series of events there. Um, I mean, I guess I summon this for later. Don't think I could get in range to horn her. Yeah, she's too far. Sadly, I think I'm going to be out of range of the heal here. Yeah. So she did steal the heal, but I have other healing cards. So that's fine. Having retaliate is actually not a bad punishment to the boss either. Although it's being kind of greedy holding this many cards. I think I'm just going to stun her here to reset her. That way I get like a full turn of doing whatever I want. So she's dead next turn, no matter what she does. Or she still targeted the right space and trolled me. Cool. Never mind. Wow. I didn't realize she aimed the charm shot like that. That really sucks. She aimed it like in the middle versus like where I was centered. Oh, now you shoot it off center? Whatever. Stupid. How do I do enough damage to her? She's gonna be like one HP shy every time. I mean, I guess I can harmful bless her. I need to, which I think we do. So I walk up, harmful bless, melee. Pretty amount of healing. We could just get to the third floor without any major issues. Okay, I see the third floor. This is promising. And I get some AoE. That's... You know what? I think I'm okay with this. Prefer him to not go towards me if we can avoid this. Do I just let them hit me? Is the question that I'm asking myself here. Hmm. I right, question. Where are you aiming? Hmm. That's an interesting place. I wish it was centered more on me, because I could have Tesla coiled him to death, I think. I don't think there's a way I can place the... I mean, I can instantly get the treasure if I want. Sure, let's get the treasure for later. And let's give ourselves immunity. So I have some time to think about this. Focus stealth. 
He hurt me, but he died. So if I stun him, it's gonna be a lot of damage coming his way. I don't want to use the other gate yet. I want to keep that for the boss. I want to make sure I have at least one gate at all times, because I could probably force that to destroy the boss. Getting a stun here is probably fine, so I could do like one, do like one, two, three. Oh, I can just kill that guy instantly, actually. Yeah, let's get rid of that then. I think that just makes more sense to do, and then we get out of the way. So I got rid of the minions, and the other guy's got one HP, so I can use a meteor here to cheese him, I think. We will. Goodbye. So now that we have more indirect routes, I feel pretty comfortable with our strategy. We set our hand, get more cards. We're picking up more bonus packs than normal since I'm actually bothering to do treasure rooms. Not that I think we need them at this point. I think we're pretty good. So I would like just a little bit of a heal, refresh everything. What's this hammer do? Offer a gemstone and all props in the room will become something else. Um, no. I mean, I could do it just to see what it does. They turned in the treasure chests. That's kind of worth it, actually. Oh. So I could have made my own pro- Well, no, no, they count as gizmos. And I got my gemstone back anyway. Wow. Pay a gemstone, get a, get a gemstone, and then five decks. Wow, that is- <laughs> that is a never mind. That is an absolute always do. Absolute. So again, even if we find the boss early, it doesn't really matter here. I have two immunity cards, so I could do whatever I need to do. And then all we need to do is just root the boss. And if the boss is immune to root, which I don't think it is, I think it's immune to disease. And we should be good. I just need some good AoE here, and we should be fine. Uh, this is okay, AoE. Hmm. I do two damage there. That's gonna do damage fast enough. I wish this stunned, but it doesn't. Where are you targeting relative to me? A very annoying spot, too. Uh, I think I gotta just take the damage. Take advantage of the fact that Tesla is gonna hit them. I think I just commit here. Let's reduce damage we take by doing this. So I'll take two. The bomb will detonate the Tesla, which is what I want. Hmm. Now I can kill you with this if I need to. Just what I want to do. Alright, so he doesn't duplicate. I can potentially regen myself if I'm in a panic. We have a couple heal cards, so I'm not super worried yet. And that's just the basic of Strikers, so I have a lot less to worry about. I'm gonna move twice, then shove. So that way they can't really do anything. If the other guy spawns a bomb, then I just root the bomb. Could meteor the bomb.
Hmm. Probably should have just harmful blessed, actually, in hindsight. That's fine. Not sure if what you do actually matters. I think as long as you die, we win. Question is, do I, I really? I feel so greedy for holding the plasma gate, but I really want it for later. Um. I don't care about regen at the moment, so I could just pop you and hopefully you explode. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So even if you're rooted here, you can't do anything to me, right? Or are you going to get unrooted on your turn? Guess we'll hold still and find out. Okay, root war off. And goodbye. Somebody just needed to make it to the end with a mix of cards and preferably get rid of our healing because we shouldn't need it. Um. Hmm. I know that if I put a pylon on either side of me, they will avoid fighting it. Four immunity turns for the boss, which means I could basically turn that into anything. <sighs> Man, I wish any of these characters were lined up. Um... Do I just take the damage here? I think I do. I'll just heal it later. Let's take the damage for now. Uh oh. I, I guess I should have seen that he would be dumb enough to do that. And we just kill both of these and end up with basically full health, which is what I wanted. So our AoE still ends up being very potent on the boss. I am really scared that I attacked that for no reason. It's like, please don't hurt me. Ooh. We drew only defensive cards, but not ones that actually help with us deal with the enemy here. So regen is at the end of his turn. So I could pop all of these enemies if I wanted to. I think I should root you. And then the other guy also dies to root. If I'm doing this correctly, I think this will work. And I just got to be out of range of your swipes. So I'm going to move one further down so I can chase the other guy. Yeah, I did math correctly. <laughs> Order of operations actually mattered. I don't like that I have two stunning palms in a room where everything explodes. Him regenning there doesn't matter at all, so that's fine. Um, can I please get an AoE? Ooh, not enough AP to reach. I did not count my AP properly. So I'm about to take big damage there. That really sucks. That actually really sucks. Because I didn't count correctly. Okay, since I'm diseased, I don't benefit from that. I get rid of that. So this will kill him. Negates the healing. Then I can stop this guy from moving by doing this. Oh. The bomb in like the only place that would stop me. Come on. Can I get an AoE please? It's not the one that I want. 
That is so unfortunate. Um... Man, this feels really bad to use the Tesla Claw in this scenario. I think I have to do this to avoid taking more damage, so we'll get rid of one of these. Hopefully I just draw good on the boss. That was really unfortunate. Th that, that really forced my hand due to how bad that draw was. Okay. Might be able to work with this. The problem is the gas over here is uncontested by me. I think he's going to force my hand. So I can try to line up and punish him once, but that's not good enough. Ugh. Is he really going to force me to use a Mox Fortune? I needed an immunity card or a heal. I drew neither. These are good cards, but they don't work on the enemy type that's here specifically. Um, I mean, I could try to do something like this to punish him for hitting me, but that's a lot of damage coming my way. I don't think I could survive this without immunity. Uh, this feels really bad. Oh, this feels so bad. I think I have to burn it. I don't see another way out of this. I'm completely pinned in. I have no mobility and the enemy is so far away. I couldn't possibly hit them with anything other than the plasma gate I used in the other room. Everything else we have would not reach. I don't have it. I didn't draw Buzzsaw or a Destruct Gizmo. Destruct Gizmo would have bought me enough time too, by the way. Because that would have let me uh, pop it and stun all of these enemies in the corner here. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to trust that they are going to try to punish me hard. So I'm gonna go immune here because I drew completely abysmally. Although if I do this, this traps me against the mushroom. This is, this is so not good. I think I have to do this. This feels really bad. Did not want to use that card there. But I think I have to. I can't think of anything else to do other than what I just did. I needed an AoE. We drew none. I could have used healing. Healing would have been fine. The other enemy positioning that way was kind of unfortunate for me. So we get, did get diseased. I can root everything near me, but the problem still is I can't hit the ghost with anything. Oh, this feels so bad. And I gotta destroy it or else I can't get closer. Oh, now you stun? Thanks. It's too slow. Retaliate here is actually huge. Will that kill him? Put him close. I think I have to go for it. Is he still in range of this? Can't tell. He might not be anymore. Uh. Wow, I would. I... <laughs> These binding palms actually just ended up being really dead in my hand. Don't have any way to get rid of them either, unless I just burn it on those. Um, walk forward, partial immunity. Like, I definitely need immune one here, or I'm gonna take too much damage. So I can freeze the other enemies, but the problem still is I can't hit the ghost with- Oh, now I draw the AoE. Thanks, game. Where was that a turn ago? It's too late now. Can't make it up to me anymore. So I can't reach the ghost at all. So I gotta do something like... One, two... Shove? 
and then hope I can reach the enemy on the next turn. So I don't see what else I could do here. I'm in a pretty bad spot. I've drawn literally no projectiles. I didn't draw another Tesla. And he's going to heal off of this, which is a problem. He didn't heal. Oh, because I didn't have disease. All right, so I got one turn to reach him. I, I just, I just have no, I have nothing. This is so sad. Are you really going to make me burn my other immunity card to not die here? Seriously? Because I'm diseased, so I can't heal. Man, this sucks. This enemy type sucks, chat. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. It's like, I have so many cards to deal with this, and I drew nothing. None of this helps me. I have nothing to activate Pile Driver. If, if this, instead of Avalanche Slam, it was something else, I could have done it. It's going to force me to be immune, too. Because I can't get rid of disease. Man. Now my boss win isn't guaranteed at all, which has me really concerned. All right, since I'm immune, I'm just going to walk forward. Oh. Am I really going to have to heart of the cards the boss battle? Really don't. I really don't want to. Can I please draw more immunities or something? I can root you from here at least. Holy, that was such a bad draw. So I think I can root you again to kill everybody in the room. And since I'm still immune, should be fine here. Oh, come on. How did, I, how did I not troll a card to reach him? You've got to be kidding me. Am I really going to use the pile driver for this? Oh, this is so sad. Is, I, is this even a legal target to put this here, or is it going to launch it into me? Because there's a cannon here. I don't think this is going to work. I feel like if it does that, it's either going to hurt me or do something I don't want. I am so annoyed, chat, right now. You have no idea. How did we not draw a single usable card? <laughs> I drew like five AoEs and they're all the ones that don't work. Man, there are 44 cards and 20 of them would have been the solution at least. Holy, draw only like six cards in a row, no answers. I mean, like, I think I am forced to heal. I would like to get rid of Binding Palm. I can't walk forward due to the cannon. I could try to retreat to bait him. I, that's all I got. Alright, so I'm in I'm now in range to kill him at least. Holy. That was terrible. Yeah, we got healing. I'd like to get rid of one of these palms. I don't care what we use it on. I'm gonna get rid of both palms, actually. Just straight up. I need this to either be healing cards or anything other than this. These are not bad on the boss, but... Since we lost our immunity cards, I don't care about them anymore. They would have been really amazing. I don't know what it's trying to get me to do here, but I don't want... I don't care where it is. I don't I don't want to pick a chest. <laughs> we're, we're past the point of picking chests. I just want to go get to the boss. But we need a mu No healing. Wow. Ooh. That might be GG by itself. I don't know what to do. Where is the exit? Is it over here? Oh, it's so far away. Oh, I have to get through two battles with 5 HP? That does not seem fun. That does not seem possible. <laughs> let me let me redo this. Okay, I can heal myself at the end of this turn. Alright, we have to do something here or I'm in just massive trouble. I can... 
I could stun enemies near me if I need to. I might have to. I would... L I think I have to stop this guy's turn. Oh, that feels so bad. Okay, we, we gotta deal with him. He's, he's problem number one. He has to die. Or this is not winnable. Oh, he's... he Oh, he is an out. Oh, that's not how I thought that would work against the wall. Uh, what do I do? I can root him. That's not useful. He needs to... Well, you mean to root into the crush. But I'm... Can I survive that if I do it? I'm doing math. I'll take two or three damage. Man, I think I'll have to. That really sucks. I was hoping to use that to heal myself because I'm almost dead. But instead that just cost me an AP. That really sucks. So we have to take the damage here. I need to draw decently here. See what happens. <sighs> it's not the worst. Question. You can't reach me. You won't be able to reach me if I do this correctly. I think this is fine. Now the question is, he's got two HP. So if I detonate him, I'm trying to remember, how much damage do you do on a detonation? Two? I think two. No, one, one, two disease. <sighs> so like, I could still lag my... I have to think. <laughs> This, I'm still really frustrated that I had to use all my immunity cards, like two rooms from the exit. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the boss. I have no idea. That's I'm thinking ahead. I'm like, this hand is literally pointless against the boss. So I need to dump my whole hand. Minus, well, I'm going to, I think I have to use the pile driver. Let me think. If I walk forward, stalactite, explosion, 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 one melee, maybe I don't need it do something like this uh do i need the crossbow for anything i don't think so do i summon the crossbow early if the enemy moves I do need to get rid of this card, but is it worth the movement? Or can I react to it? If he puts a bomb here, that's a problem. I'm assuming he's going to do something. You know what? I think no matter what he does here, I'm okay with this. Because then if he doesn't do what I want him to do... I was going to say, if he doesn't do what I want him to do, I could just burn my stun moves. So let's just kill him here. Okay, I need to get rid of Palm. So we're going to strike it just so I can get rid of the card. And now we need to just survive two rooms. And I also have to somehow draw something for the boss, which I don't know how that's going to work, but I guess we're going to believe. Yeah, because I had double immunity and the Tesla. And that's literally, I think, all I need to beat the boss without getting injured. So I could cheese that boss so hard with Tesla. It's fine. We don't care about the fish. I'm using this time to think. So if... If I draw a crossbow, that's fine. What are things I don't want? I don't want Binding Palm. Binding Palm is useful if we had the immunity, because then I could have stunned potentially the boss. And then just had like a free thing to wail on, and there's nothing they could have done. I think they're immune to disease. They're not immune to root, so I could do one damage to potentially all of them. Repeatedly. 
So any root card I think is also fine. I don't like this fish pattern at all. I'll be real with you. This is gross. Um. Whatever. It was like slightly too slow. Oh well. Oh, please don't hit the pink thing. Okay. I don't really need anything that this gives me. So, okay. We have multiple opportunities to win. I don't really... I have like... I think six immunity cards out of 60 cards. My odds of drawing them on 10 cards are one in six. So the question is... How lucky do I feel I am? <laughs> So those are not great odds. I got the booster that I don't care about. So I have to survive one more round of combat. Why? There's... That would have been really useful earlier. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's okay here. I could get a couple kills off of this. Um, Charm doesn't injure me, so the question is more... Can I do anything fun with this to destroy them? <sighs> as long as I'm out of her 2x2 two two range, I could cheese whatever is near me with craters. Could retaliate to make the skeleton die against me. I have avalanche slam for like long distance damage, but th that's better if I can pair it with the root to get the guaranteed damage. Because I, I don't think most of them are going to be immediately adjacent to me. Hmm. The problem, okay, so here's the problem enemy. This enemy can hit me, deals two, big problem. This enemy can reach me, sleep me, teleport, be annoying. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna mulligan the turn. I'm gonna just let them deal three to themselves. Get through the charm. That means I don't have to worry about the skeleton guy on the left because he's going to take two damage from the other character. Now stun has a purpose here. So he positioned himself basically to die, and I'm okay with that. Oh, we finally drew a Plasma Gate. I needed that earlier. Um, so I think we just stun. So I do two damage potentially to her. And just end these characters. The question is... Do I want to do anything special to kill that guy at the moment? I feel like the answer is no. Do I want to get rid of any of the cards in my hand? So Avalanche Stun is potentially good against the boss. Crater is a bit more mixed. Looks rude. Yeah, let's get rid of a crater. And I can melee him to death next turn, I think. Not quite what I thought was going to happen there, but that's fine. Uh, I want to save the Tesla for the boss. Can I afford to be greedy? This will stun the guy that's near me. If I walk up two and stun, is that going to be good enough? One, two, stun, damage, damage. But then I have to kill her. The problem is her. Uh... 
I mean, I guess I could try to luck into some ranged attacks. I kind of need them. When she's at like 1 HP or 2 HP, it doesn't matter. But 4 with only 3 AP means I can't just walk up and kill her. Uh, so I think what I need to do is... I have 3 AP, so I'm going to go... 1... 2... Avalanche... Avalanche, 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 this should mean she shouldn't dodge this. Alright, so we put her in the 2 HP range. Now we just need a good card for the boss. That is a really good pull for the boss. Alright, I get one I get one mulligan on the boss. So you're gonna do your little two by two nonsense. Let's just kill you and wait. I can't do anything anyway due to charm. Um If I get stalactite, this will be the boss killer. Uh, but I don't have it in my hand. So what would I need to get rid of? What is my my least safe thing is maybe Buzzsaw. I think I'm a little scared to bring Buzzsaw into the boss battle in a challenge where I don't take damage. I'm just thinking if there's a way I could cleanly execute it. So like, for example, if I Plasma Gate into Buzzsaw, it does guarantee that if it gets hits once, it's basically going to trigger to its max, which isn't bad. thinking so if I move three I can move two and kill one two three one two no so unfortunately too far away so I think I just I just dodged the bomb here So, depending on what the boss does, or not the boss, whatever the, the mermaid does slash siren does, we'll finish. Okay, I think that's good for us. We'll go one, two, three, then I can move one and hit twice. And that's what I was talking about before. Like, if it was at four health, there's no way we could have done this. That was way too close. Okay, is there anything I want to get rid of? Crater is kind of risky. Because if I box myself in versus the boss, I'm kind of done. I think I'm going to get rid of the risk. Tesla is safe. Plasma Gate is safe. Buzzsaw I can use with Plasma to make safe. I don't think this would help me. I think this would clutter the arena too much. So let me summon these. And that way I get closer to drawing my immunity cards. I can reset my deck, which is fine. So I'm going to give myself two extra cards to draw. I have one immunity turn. If I draw Stalactite, that means I potentially have seven damage on board. That's not terrible. So I guess it just really depends, again, what I end up getting. I'm not worried about beating the boss. I'm worried about the challenge. Boss is easy. Unless I draw, like, absolute trash. that I should just win this every time. So I can burst the boss a little early if I want to. Or arguably I could wait for Plasma Gate when there's more than one target. I drew a Destroy prop, which is actually very interesting. Hmm. Can I... Is the, can the boss be stunned? Guess we'll find out. Uh... Oh, the healing thing there means I can't cheese it as easily. 
Oh, because that'll heal it when Buzzsaw goes off. <sighs> Stupid healing an enemy. I thought about it. So if I, for example, if I put the Plasma Gate here and the Buzzsaw here and a Plasma Gate there, it means if I hit it once, it's going to do six damage. It will kill this, but it stops it from being an absolute life bar decimation. Uh, I could Plaz. I could pile driver it. I think that'll work. If I do something like this. That way, at least I have plasma gates for the future and I can use them to destroy or stun if I need it. Let's try that. I think this will result in more damage if I'm calculating correctly. Yeah. So that's one health bar gone. I was hoping to buzzsaw. I technically could buzzsaw depending on how it splits here. It's split on the other side. That's so sad. Oh, or it or it really messed up. I guess that's how we could look at it. Am I being targeted? Yes, no. Yes. So you're going to you're going to get hit. I have a retaliate. So I could technically hit once and then try to dodge. Which is kind of funny. So that's going to do another health bar's worth of damage. Which I think it's kind of worth it. I think we just do it. <laughs> See, if I had another Plasma Gate, it would kind of be over. So I guess what I could have... Okay. So in hindsight, what I could have done to Wombo Combo... If I had moved the Plasma Gate one more space higher, I could have maybe put Buzzsaw in later to result in the Wombo Combo. So I think I missed a chance to insta-kill because I, I didn't see the line. So I think if originally my Buzzsaw was not wanted because it would hit this, but if I all I wanted it to do was to trigger this pylon, which I'm not hitting, I think that would have worked to some extent. Oh, no, 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 because this one... Mm. Oh, yeah, because I would... Well, I guess it's, it would hit three more times. But the pile driver only has two more health. Okay, so it wouldn't have been in, like an insta-kill. It would have been real close. Do I just retaliate? Maybe? Question. Okay, so they are immune to stun. This does do a lot of damage, which is hilarious. Wow, that actually just outright damages them by that much. That's kind of funny. Um... I'm gonna take a turn to be immune and maybe damage them for hitting me. And they still potentially could kill themselves on their own ability. So it did a little bit of damage. Well, that is a juicy potential damage dealer. So I gained another damaging one. I'm worried if Tingle counts as damage, even though it says zero, and it'll fail the challenge. Otherwise, I would just stand here and not care. Um, if I pop the prop, I could summon something to do okay damage. So I could move right one, attack, attack? I think that would be okay damage-wise. Nothing else is hitting me, right? You're going up there. You're doing whatever. I'm not sure if there's a shortcut to seeing all of their attack ranges simultaneously, because I, I kind of need to know. Like, if I do this, I can kind of see it, but it doesn't always tell me exactly what I'm looking for. Like, that's just a movement ability versus, like, an attack. So I think the right play is move over one... Tesla. 
smack. So I could potentially use that to do more damage if I need it. We have two retaliates. Okay. If I need to, I could just hold still. So depending on how they move, I might not even need to do much. It really just depends on what I draw here. Let's see what we draw. Crater. Okay, line, line, line. So they'll hit me as is. Hmm. I gotta do something nasty with this. Is this the right play? So I obviously need to make myself immune. I think this is the right play. Question about one thing. But he might... It depends on how he teleports, I guess. But it, I mean, the worst thing that happens is he triggers the Tesla call repeatedly. I think this is okay. So if I retaliate on myself while I'm immune, I don't take damage, right? I hope not. Assuming I'm just immune to this damage. We'll find out, I guess. Should be immune. Oh, that killed the uh, Buzz Salt instantly. I forgot how much damage that did. That's fair. So I can get another health bar here for sure. I could detonate the other thing. Ooh, they just went out of range of the other thing. All right, so this is where it gets a little scary. So I could root you and it does a lot of damage, but what are you doing currently? You're attacking, you're attacking. You're attacking, not attacking. So I could damage you, but the question is, do I really want to do that when I could finish it with Tesla? I think I want to finish it with Tesla, but then I need to get out of the way. So if I finish it with Tesla, what's the downside? Actually, it might weird breath itself to death. No, but I can't do enough damage. Okay, so here's the thought process. If they had been one point closer, this would have done four damage and that would have been brutal. If anything was near me, I could have made myself immune, potentially. I would like to not use Stalagmite yet because if I can root into it, I have a guaranteed life bar kill, I believe. But since he's only at two, I don't think it's worth it. So I'm just double checking. Is there a way I can stand and not get struck? without them healing first. So if I move, if I strike once and then move up, I think that's the right way. So then if this guy doesn't move, he dies. Just, I'm being very careful. I want the no, down, no damage win. So if he doesn't perform well, I crater him. Cratering him might be GG. I didn't think about it that way. Because that does stop him from moving, and then he's dead next turn. Is this acceptable? I think I have GG then. I think I have GG. So that's going to stop him from moving. Even if he gets healed, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think this is the win. If I somehow messed up... I can retaliate and recover. I think we're fine here. So he's going to take another point of damage. I was, I was really careful with that. I'm like, please don't hit me. I'm going to be so sad. So even if he heals here, I don't think it matters. And the other guy spawned up there anyway, so he might also just be dead from that. Huh. Or they all just teleport, never mind. So if I root him, it should be GG. Oh, but now there's... well... 
No, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. So we move up, we root him, we kill him. It's over. Oh, the stress. Oh, we're done, though. Challenge completed. I had to think about that one chat a little bit. Our alternative is the simple four. Depending on how they teleported, destroy Gizmo potentially could do four damage if two of them are near it. Uh, we have Blooming in our deck, specifically to get rid of negative status ailments because we're going for that other achievement. But it causes one damage per turn, and it would have stopped them long enough for me maybe to draw on the Slagmite. We had a Rip as A as the backup. Let's go pick up the other card. Law of Mitosis acquired. So we did get another perfect. Just we did it with Warden this time. So we drew decent. It wasn't like the perfect card every time, but like they were mostly usable. They weren't like the card, but you know, I, I could I could have worked with these. The, the extra Ripizet was nice though. I'm not gonna lie. That was nice. Because that means I can make a mistake and then I just get a free pass. So let's go ahead and see what the cards are. I have enough time to do maybe something very small. Tsunami. Three phasers that clear all place tile traps and inflicts push one, two damage, and stun to one units. Oh. That would have been nice to have earlier, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was gonna say, to be honest with you, that would have fixed a lot of problems. Uh, there's so many times I just needed to move them slightly and hit more than one target. Oh well. Should just be all money at this point. Oh, there's a couple I don't have maxed, apparently. Let's see, any fun Oceana cards in here? Lots of gemstones, apparently. Say, if I want to try other decks, I guess I should be fun. Oh, I'm so happy we got at least one Retaliate. I've been so sad to lose because we didn't draw it. Immunity also would have worked for clarity. Oh, new card. Infinite Kunai. Fire a shot that inflicts one damage and jump two tiles away. Initiative copy infinite kunai. Precision copy infinite kunai. It's kind of funny. <laughs> how how very green deck of them. Okay, uh, take a look at these. We have so many shards I don't need. Okay. actually seems to be behaving itself surprisingly after that dungeon. I'll still probably restart it. End of turn, gain immune one, copy any card. <laughs> I mean, that, that just seems kind of unfair. So we have only a handful left. So I'll just keep going with the Draconian Spires for now. Okay, so let's take a look at the guide. So let's think about this. Can I quickly do another quest? Oh my gosh, the CY, seriously. I'm not gonna get over the fact that it's, okay. Just so everybody, that for whoever missed it, I'm gonna talk about this one more time. I'm playing on the controller. I see visually on the screen, LB, LBRB for scrolling. Bottom left, it says B for back. B does not hit back. B puts you in quest log. Technically, maybe it's thinking by default, it's centered on the town map, maybe. It's not very intuitive. They should have left it like this. I I would love this quality of life change. You have no idea how badly I want it. Like this, selecting this town map doesn't do anything for me on the controller that I'm aware of. I mean, in, in, illuminate me if there is some magic command that you could do to make this do something more useful. But leaving me on this menu is so much more intuitive. Please patch this, I beg of you. Quality of life, it's so small, it's so easy. I don't have to go, what is, what do I do to go in and select quests and stuff like that? Oh man. So unfortunately, we found out that you're only allowed to stack eight negative cards at once of one type. So we would have had the other warden challenge, but uh, I don't know if it's, does it say that anywhere in the guide out of curiosity? That there is a hard limit of eight? 
because that would have changed my deck slightly. I don't think there was. Yeah. Yeah, like when we look in the gameplay guide, it doesn't mention the limit here, but there is. And that's why we didn't get the achievement. So it's easy enough to get to eight disease. I could technically just replay literally the same deck again and go to the second floor. So basically the only thing we need to win is the thing where we can root to ourselves. And then we also need to have a purge. So, I mean, I guess, I guess I could try to do it. I guess. I'll probably change the deck slightly because we're not going for the challenge. Um, Chaining root is fine. I'm going to go for something different. I'm going to go back to Stormbringer. <sighs> yeah, I think there's there's just enough stealth units that I think this is more useful. Well... Hmm. Feel mixed. But I'll leave it as is for now, just to say we did something new. Okay, so we don't need Castle. Let's get rid of Castle. Uh, get rid of that. I could change this to do one more of each type of card to make it more consistent. But then it leaves me open to sleep. Sleep is pretty BS. I don't think I want that. And a deck with only three AP, but no AP gain. Sound the Horn was fine. These were mostly fine. Ripisse was a lifesaver. Do I have any more of those, by the way? Don't think I do. That is unfortunate. So we need more of those. Do I just lose cards? I guess I could go down cards. So I could draw them more consistently. Fatal Error is okay. I don't really need it, need it. Getting rid of Binding Palm. There's too many enemies that explode for it to be useful. We'll go down a Chaining Rock. Two immunities. Uh, that is Tsunami. It's to help with room clear, because I do need to get to a point where I can room clear. The problem, as I said before, I need more of the in roots. Do I risk getting rid of sleep so I can draw an extra? Is the question. It is like an interesting trade. Blooming is fine if we're keeping barb wire because that's also a purge so this is both a damage card and a purge avalanche slam was okay i'll probably go down one sound the horn i wish we drew more often but it is what it is there we'll keep our immunity cards in just so we have a means of setting up we're card cycling i think maybe this is okay I guess I could also go down crossbows. Probably the least useful of the instruments that I have. Did I want anything else for roots? I could technically bind thorn myself, but it's not going to stack root fast enough. Because that'll leave me at eight negatives. And even if I get rooted, it's only nine. Do I go up any more healing? I mean, I have ale. I guess I could bring more ale in. So that we have more purges. Because that's part of the challenge. So I'll have 10 purge cards out of 60. That's okay. Okay. Let's get rid of... Oh, speaking of which, also, please fix this beg of you. I think this should be fine. So we 100% need the en route. I trimmed, I think, what was that? Three, four cards, but I added more purges. So I added a little more consistency to the deck. Marsh is pretty good. Did I have any other AoE roots that I was forgetting? looking at the cards. I don't think so. Vinethorn doesn't work on like any monster in there if you're wondering why I'm not taking it. It's like so pointless. It's so sad. 
I really want Dragon Tomb to be good, but it's just been so... Just been... Mm... <laughs> I mean, I could try to risk it with immunity, but I was not a fan of that card at all. I just feel like Ice Meteor does exactly what it does with no downside. Like, if, if this didn't, like... If this didn't, like, stun you with the effect and it only stunned enemies, I would have loved it. But the fact that it can stun me means, like, oh, I can't use it the same way I'd want to use the other one. So give me one second, chat. We're gonna quit to desktop just to refresh the uh, frame rate a little bit. Since, as I said before, it does act a bit weird when you do back-to-back -back areas with fog. So we completed all Master Raider achievements. Apparently only 2.4% of players have this achievement. The more you know. There we go. We're in the top echelon <laughs> of bothering to do the quest. So we'll do one more. So I'm hoping this one won't be too long. I don't want to do a full dungeon clear. I'm basically just going to leave. Okay, so we're going to choose the same place again. We need to find a mushroom. And we need to enroute. So we can potentially stall as needed. I think it was the Lost Wreckage. Yes. So that's an easy way to get a lot of disease. If there's two mushrooms, we're good. And if I have multiple roots, technically that will also work. So as we go through the dungeon, I want to hold on to self roots. We got a purge. We had two purges. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and just try to get to the second floor because I think that's... Oh, there's mushrooms on the first floor. Oh. The more you know. So I just need in root and then we're done with the challenge. So this enemy loves to waste our time. So, I could just root him? So we need to draw, hopefully, our own self-root, and then we're good. I have, like, three different cards in my hand currently that would do what I need them to do. So one in root, and I think we're good. Nope, that's not in root. Let's go ahead and burn a card to try to draw a card. Normally, this would just be a terrible strategy to burn all of your AoE damage, but in this case, I don't care. That other guy can take as long as he wants. We're drawing everything but what I need. That is so sad. Uh, what I can do is move over here, do something like this, just to waste a card, and we draw one of our own roots. <sighs> I could just take the damage, get rid of this. We're, we're gonna keep going until I draw it, chat. Like. I think this is enough, because every strike... <gasps> no, he struck one of them! Oh, you jerk! Oh, what a jerk. Because Okay, so this would have been 2, 4, 6. And if I had drawn a root, that would have been 8. I could have maybe... <sighs> now I can't do it, because he hit one of those. Because if, if I had spent, like, a turn or two coming over here, I would then get 6, 12 lose four and that would have put me at eight the enemy actually just trolled me wow that sucks so much it's stunned jerk it might be doable if i get more in roots but i might have to just come back to another room yeah i think i gotta come back the game is not gonna cooperate with me that is so sad Were you aiming this, by the way? Okay. 
So we have <laughs> just need to draw it in route. So we got to burn our cards until we see it. And th the challenge is over as soon as we draw it. No. Uh, I could disease five myself with ice meteor. I didn't think about that. Hmm. That might be good. The question is, what is this idiot going to teleport into? So I'm going to... Oh, it's so risky to put a Tesla coil. Um... I, mean, I, I could get rid of... Because this one... Oh, this just gives me immune to. That's not even a purge. Oh. I think we just go immune then. I beg of you, please draw in root. I mean, the backup plan, I guess, is we just copy Ice Meteor as many times as we can. <sighs> this is so sad. I don't want to... I, I want to keep blooming in case we have to do another room. Is there anywhere I can go where he will not... Because he's going to destroy the other mushroom, but I have Frozen Meteor. So I could do 2, 4, 6... Wait a turn. Meteor up to eight. Root would still work. So as long as I have one mushroom at full health, I could do this. Otherwise, I gotta leave the room. I think this one has to go, though. No! Oh, come on! Oh, go never mind. Never mind. No longer complaining. He teleported. Can I please draw something useful? I beg of you. I just one card, chat. One card and it's over. I promise you. All we need. I have the purge. I just need the en route so I could give myself another status ailment. We've drawn at least 15 cards. This is going on into the very unlucky territory. Uh, let's see. You're going to do that. I'm going to move up twice. I'm going to put Tesla all the way over here, and if you trigger it, you deserve to die. You absolutely deserve it, and I'm done with you. Yeah, like, these kinds of challenges I don't find as exciting because they are just so RNG-based. Speaking of which, <laughs> I would I would really love if we got any of our negative status ailment cards. We'll see how many I'll draw, chat. If they're at the bottom of the deck, I swear, I'm just gonna quit. Wow, this is so unlucky. I'm gonna move twice. Stalagmite, nothing. Or stalactite, excuse me, because it's from the ceiling. I need him alive so we could draw cards just for chat clarity. Holy wow. Okay. <laughs> Unreal chat, come on. We're getting close to a 1 in 10 chance of drawing it. Oof. Oof, and I can't even use this spell there because he'll die. Can you not teleport next to me? Thank you. I'll get rid of one of my purges. Where can I move to dodge this? Left, sure. If only Warden had card draw outside of uh, Curios. Holy. The streak continues. Okay, we have a 10% chance of drawing it now, and it's going to go up every time we don't draw the card. We have put 14 cards in the grave. None of them are the card that we need. That's still not the card that I need, and I can't get rid of that card. Which is a bit unfortunate that we drew into it, to be honest with you. Drawing a second Meteor would mean that I can move on as well. Second Meteor is also an acceptable alternative at this point. Um, Where are you targeting exactly? Oh. Get rid of a Crater. So he's going to open a path, no matter what. So I feel pretty safe here. <laughs> oh my god. Game, please. 
Come on. RNG, please, I beg of you. I don't think I can use a single card in my hand other than this heal, because otherwise he'll die. That is so sad. I'm going to use the heal. The heal on full health. We're getting into the incredibly unlucky territory to have drawn this many cards and not seen it. <sighs> Chad, I don't think it was meant to be. <laughs> I'm 16 cards in. I haven't seen a damn one. <laughs> that is so sad. As a reminder, there are four in the deck, contrary to uh, what is happening on screen. Um... So I need to, so if I don't find another mushroom, I need another frozen meteor. So we have like a backup plan for the backup plan. I could probably fit one more gizmo in here and then I'm giving up. So if we don't draw the, it, like in the next three cards, I give up. So I feel like I've been patient enough with trying to draw random cards. That's a purge self and immune too. That's interesting. I will do this and hold still for a couple of turns. Wait, he might hit himself and kill himself. Let's move... S hold on. Okay, good, good, good. I was going to say, please don't target yourself. Right, we're going to do this to buy ourselves some time. We have a purge card with the beer, so I'm not really that worried. End their turn. I'm sure the game is like, why are you ending your turn? Oh my god. I'm actually getting trolled. <laughs> we're almost at we're almost at four and thirty odds. I've drawn almost half of my deck. I have what is that? Four seven cards. I have 25 out of 35 cards of my deck have been drawn. That is so sad. I have not drawn one of the cards. Uh we'll do one, two, three. I'm going to put one last gizmo in here, and then I give up. We're going to look for another mushroom. You know what? I'm just going to use this ability. Screw this. I, well, well, if I come back, I could come back to the mushroom room, maybe, and give myself six plus meteor plus that. So maybe as long as I don't hit the mushroom again, I think I'm good. So now that we did this... Oh, you're targeting over there. That's kind of rude of you. All right, so let's use a gizmo to kill him. One of our many in this room. As long as he doesn't hit the mushroom, I don't care. I'll take damage. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. In case he explodes. So... So I should be able to five, then six. So I want to pop the mushroom first. I just need the root. So we're going to keep going until we get root. So this will reveal them and damage them. We're going to go ahead and pop one of you down. Oh, Tesla can ignore stealth. Interesting. Today I learned. I knew the rock move could hit you. Wait. Even if he poisons me, I don't really care. Huh. I can just do this. That's hilarious, actually. So maybe I don't have a reason to reveal stealth on Warden. I like it on the other decks, though. The one free damage is kind of sick. We've drawn most of our cards. I could just put a pile driver in this room just to draw more cards. I think I will. You know what? I'm also just going to heal randomly. Just to guarantee I draw another card. <laughs> just to hope we draw it. So I'm going to force myself to cycle more cards. <laughs> this is this is officially no longer fair. I would just like to state chat. The game is being mean to me. Um Does it matter what I put here? I guess I might as well as get the treasure. Because it's funny. 
Um... Ooh, he went that way. Interesting. Holy, I still didn't draw it. I wish I could see the range of my own gizmos. I just had to believe he was in range there. Right, so let's put another gizmo down and pray. Pray that we are given enough turns to get to something interesting. You know what? I'm even going to Harmful Bless just to draw more cards. We have now officially drawn more than half of our deck. We have 30 cards remaining in the library. I beg of you, game. I do not want to reset the cards or I'm going to feel so sad. So we're going to ignore that. We have a room that we could potentially set up to get it instantly. I'm not happy that this might be the last room I can draw cards in. Oh my god. How? Oh, how? Oh. <laughs> how? Chat, how? This is... Okay, we're, we're getting down to less than... 1 in 25 of getting 4 of the cards. We're almost at 1 in 6 odds. That's getting hilariously terrible that we haven't drawn this still. Um... I guess I just put you over here somewhere. Could just let them damage me because it doesn't really matter. Walk forward, retaliate maybe? Just so we draw a damn card? I have one more room I might be able to draw in and that's the puzzle room, but after that, I don't know. Three lures also would have worked if we had, uh... Oh, can you not... Oh, you can't play a purge in response to a status ailment. That's interesting. Well, I mean, that doesn't really change my plan at all. So that's fine. Um, I'm gonna walk forward melee. We're going to avalanche. Yeah, something like this. <laughs> this is fine. We just need to burn cards. I don't care how it's done. Oh, finally. Okay, we drew it. So... Do I want to stun him and draw more cards? I think I do. I feel like, I feel like it's now necessary. I feel like, you know, if it's going to make me do this, I might as well just go all out. Ooh, that took way too long. Oh, so that also would have worked. Because I think we could get nine. I think the nine is on our turn and it expires to ten. Okay, so we have a backup. And now I just need to get rid of cards because I can. So I'll just get rid of one of these, maybe. So we still have a purge self, so I'm not super worried about this. Okay. So hopefully if I do this correctly... I also have to be careful because we're now in post-combat, so it's very easy for the turn count actions to be wrong. So I'm going to be very careful with this. So I gotta make sure when we start this. Okay, so I can melee three times. Then root myself and that should work. Once. Twice. Three times. So now I'm at nine. Then we're going to be at more than that. Then I purge. Whew. 
Okay, challenge done. <laughs> that was that was much harder than that should have been. <laughs> oh my gosh, 32 cards in the graveyard. Holy, just draw half your deck, it's fine. All right, we're just leaving. I don't care about the puzzles. So there we go, easy challenge out of the way, quote unquote. <laughs> just <laughs> atrocious, atrocious RNG. <laughs> we could have had that literally in the first room, but it was like, nope. That's why we don't reset our decks. So let's go back, because I have no interest in whatever else is here. So let's hand in the challenge. I feel like that's a good break point, given that we just completed two people's uh, challenges today in their entirety. So again, we're in the, the upper tiers of completing this on Steam. So with that, should be the final warden. So the only thing we have left is the traveler. Which is funny, because the only reason I didn't do the traveler is because they had an area we haven't done yet. So I guess we'll do the traveler next time. Good, well this was my last challenge and you went and did it. Not that I was expecting anything else really. This is for you, hard work must be rewarded. You gave me a healing thing. Wow, that was, uh, yeah, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. The other abilities, I get like this. I remove all the traps and I damage and I push and that one's heal four. I don't think these are quite on the same tier. I don't care that that was rank one either. You shouldn't be using healing. If it was like every time you heal the enemy is damaged, that would have been like, ooh. No. Yeah, so I could have maybe made more Earthbinds to make my life a little easier. The problem with Earthbind is that there are so many flying enemies in that dungeon that it's like, other than the skeletons, I think like 80% of the enemies fly. The ghosts fly, the spirits fly fly, uh, that are summoned by the orbs, the mages fly, which is kind of unfair. I guess the, gr the ground mage and skeleton are the main, the main targets, the nautilus fly. Oh well. We did it, yay. I guess I could see if we got any new trinkets, nope. I guess we could see if the place where we restart when we die has any interesting cards. I totally forgot how to get there. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's how few times I die while I play the game. I, I don't remember. Yeah, you here. Did you have anything new that I haven't purchased? Looks like I got everything. Well, if I accidentally remove all of my stuff, I can at least safely say I could probably get four of all of the basic cards and be fine. But the downside is I've also drawn a lot of pack rares with cards not there. Hmm. Is there any other quick challenge? It's still a little, little early, but I definitely don't want to do a full dungeon run. Draft tournament is too long. Just double checking, we didn't have any challenges we couldn't do other than this one. I guess I could double check how to get meditation for next time. Since it, it's probably just from the area we haven't been to. If I had to guess. I don't feel bad for looking this up. This is like one of 20 cards we don't have just for clarity. So I just need to see what pack it's in, from my own understanding. It is in Cities of Garada, Ruins of Garada, which is in Magma City. That makes sense. So my assumption was correct. So until we do the Traveler stuff, I can't complete all the challenges. Okay. Well, I guess if I have nothing else to do... Oh, actually, no, though, there's one more thing I could do, technically. I could use a... Uh... 
Orson. No. We'll, we'll save for next time. Why don't we set up for when we play again? So I think we're going to be going full oh, menu. I think we're going to be just completing the Traveler. I mean, I guess I could try to complete the Stranger. The problem with this is I heard that there's more than one ending with the game. So I didn't want to get too far with Rave the Stranger. Like, I'm curious, but I don't really seem to have a way of creating more than one save file. Because I would have loved to have seen one where I just play through without doing anything with the Traveler and I get rid of his cards versus uh, going forward. But given that there's not multiple save slots, sadly, which again, big quality of life, uh, then I would have been able to do what I wanted to do. I guess I can double check the one Traveler quest. Reach the bottom of Doom Dome in less than 60 combat turns. Well... It's not 60 turns, it's 60 combat turns. I'm hoping it doesn't just count regularly moving through the room as a turn. That would upset me. But why don't we set up for that? And that'll be the last thing that we do. But I don't think we're going to do any more challenges for the night. I think we... I mean, we basically did everything first try minus the 10 status ailments. But that was, uh, to be honest, frankly, very expected. I think we need to increase the number of the same card that can be added. And then card draw in the beginning is good. I don't think I want to have any health boosts whatsoever. Uh. Okay, so this is what we also like to call a controller glitch. Chad, I challenge you, what am I currently selecting? The answer was nothing. <laughs> I had to close the menu. Was that was the trick question. So I'm gonna do draw fives. We need adrenaline to end turns. Ninja backpack was disgusting. Was I actually broke? Rain down was good. Bats dive is pretty good. Driving slice is okay to get. Shark and storm absolutely. Keen dash. We need at least one. Boomerang, four, no contest. No, five, five, because we have five. Uh, do I want Hookshot? Mm. Hook, Kunai, Shuriken. Kunai is definitely the worst of the bunch. I'll put two Kunai in there and two Hooks. I don't mind five Shuriken, because Shuriken is stupid. Draws me like a million AP. Uh, definitely need Shine Sparks. Axe Spin is okay. Aerial Ace is really good. Sharp Dash is really good. Barrage is okay. We'll put one point in there. Uh, Shock Dump is really good. Double Shot is really good. Tip to target position. Oh, I didn't put a... Ooh, that was silly. I didn't put in Quiet Flutter or Pounce, which are amazing. Uh, I don't think most of these other ones are really worth it. I mean, I could just add cards for the sake of making sure we don't run out of cards in the dungeon. Bombing Jump is okay. I could do the thing where I discard cards with Jettison. A couple jettisons in there just in case. Uh, Bullseye is okay. Boomerang is just so strong. Stealth one. I'll put one in the deck. Do we have a couple of discard effects? We have a lot of precision ones. Quick jump is okay. I think as long as we have Shuriken, Boomerang, and some mobility, we should be good. Blink Strike is also okay. I don't know if I like it more than our other choices. Double Shot is so sick because a lot of enemies have 4 health, 
So this will often just be draw one every single time we use it. And then a lot of the minions have one HP. So if I'm fighting like a knight, for example, and a summon, I can kill both. And that's why I really like that card. Plus it's also card draw. Um, I don't think I care about most of the other, these other ones. I think Chad asked me before whether or not I'll take healing in a build. I definitely am not taking any healing in Traveler. Listen, we're, we're living the go hard life. I'm going in. Team Dash is okay. Do I want another mobility is the question I'm asking myself, or do I want free damage? Driving Slice is just kind of like an innocent pay zero, get free damage. Um... I could just put literally one axe spin to fill the deck a little bit. It's sometimes useful. I don't have like a ton of AoE in the deck other than Shock Jump. And Shock Jump is extremely broken, don't get me wrong. Oh, uh, now the question is, do I do the one where I just draw cards every time I play a card? I think I do. Yeah, that way I just go through my whole deck as quickly as possible. I think that should be pretty good. So I start with two extra cards. I'm allowed five in a deck, which means I have all my broken cards with one extra in the whole deck. And yeah, two extra cards in my starting hand going from, I think, five to seven instead of eight is still really good. So that means I will probably draw something to draw into more cards. Long combat attacks will heal allies. That's kind of funny. I don't think there's anything else I really want. I mean, Clean Mirror is also really stupid. Clean, clean Mirror with this deck would also be really broken. Oh, this, this card was so good to me. Oh. I'm contemplating if I just want the consistent draw, or if I just want to mimic. I guess if I was doing the boss, I would just do Clean Mirror. That's a really tough call for me, honestly. Strider's Glove is so easy to do. Like every, basically 50 of the 80 cards will either dash, jump, zip, or teleport. So it's like, I'm going to be doing this constantly. And the, the stupid part with this too, is that it says dash, but it counts movement. So if I just move three times, it will also activate this, by the way. I don't know if that's a bug, I mean, if they're not going to fix it, this is clearly the best one of all of these. As long as you want a Traveler card anyway. Getting 3 AP due to precision is actually kind of sick. I could do like a, I could do like a gimmick deck that just tries to do this. I think I got like maybe 30 or 40 cards total that might do precision. And one of them is really good. I, I use it all the time. The others are more whatever to be honest like beta star like technically it's precision i'm not going to use this outside of bosses like i'll use alpha star on a boss seven damage i'm not going to use it for its precision i don't even know what would have seven hp to trigger this so just kind of an example of what i mean by like it has precision but dot 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 probably not going to happen could do Bats Dive for another mobility one. What would I get rid of? To the Vault is too powerful. That's kind of like my own mimicry built into the deck. I got some discard fodder if I really need it. Like Kunai I'm discarding for sure. I'm not using those. I guess it's okay. So let, let's save the current deck. We'll get rid of... One of the ones that I can't see down here, maybe. Oh, this one had Volt in it? Oh, I don't run... I, I don't want to think back to this deck. No, that's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll get rid of that. That's fine. Okay, so I think that's good enough for now. We set up a deck. So let's chat about how we feel things went overall. 
Well, aside from the atrocious RNG on uh, the other one, where we had the ability to potentially root ourselves with this stone, at least I'm assuming you can root yourself with your own stone, uh, mixed with the in root. Um, I'm basically happy with how things went. I'm, I was not thrilled that I was forced to burn all of our invulnerability because I just did not draw a single ranged option to deal with uh, the dagger throwing lifesteal disease character, which was really unfortunate. So wasn't thrilled with that for sure. That was probably the low point. But hey, high point, beat the boss. Beat the boss and we still had safety cards. So we drew decently, at least there when it mattered. And yeah, we completed the Raider challenge pretty easy as well. Uh, not a lot of complaints with it. We had some weird hands, but I think with being able to like dump our cards when we really needed it, we were able to rebuild when we were forced to get rid of a boss hand because we had a boss hand of at least five or six damage cards because I was thinking the boss had five or six health uh, bars. But as we found out, the boss only had four. So if I were to do that challenge again, I would only carry four boss cards and I would keep one mobility card. So I'd have two cards floating at all times to deal with the rooms and that would have made life a lot easier. Um... And I guess for the other challenge, I don't think I would change much. I mean, I definitely would remove Rain Down from the Raider deck when we did that challenge. Otherwise, I'm mostly happy with the cards that we put in the decks because we did take some time to assemble them and think about it, what we could potentially do to manipulate the strategies. And for the most part, I think it worked. So, you know, not necessarily 10 out of 10 gameplay, but I think we did good enough. I mean, we first tried. <laughs> We first tried. We'll put it there. Um, but I think from that standpoint, I have some things to reflect on uh, in terms of what I potentially would want to do to defeat bosses. Because presumably we're going to refight the boss from the beginning of the game, which, to be fair, we almost beat it, but we didn't know about Petrify. So the question I'm going to ask myself is, do I want to do anything for Petrify or do I just want to burst the boss down? And honestly... I think I might just want to burst the boss down. I think I might just not care about Petrify. So we'll see. I'm not sure if there's any other gimmick with it, as we only got to experience it literally at the beginning of the game. I think we have one card that petrifies. I'm not sure, for example, if there's any HP thresholds for when it activates. Like, we have to be very injured, critically low. I want to say when we got to the boss room the first time when we played the game, we were injured. So it's possible it doesn't work on full HP people. I'm not going to rule that out. But anyway, that's for future me to figure out. But for now, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point on the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you again for watching. And hope to see you again next time.